for sure. Uh, Kyle, you, take it away. Please, hard play. points are an attachment option. So if a thing has one oh. hard point, there's one thing you can add to it. Our ship has five hard points. Most pit blaster pistols have one hard point. There's an entire series of things called mods that you can install for a cost. Those mods come with enhancements or attachments, uh, which are separate and the same. I made a giant write-up on it. In fact, you will find it in the references under vehicle attachments and mods. I'm not even, that's like, um, that's like varsity shit. I'm still JV right now. Okay, yeah. got it. The, the, the important thing is every piece, of, every piece of kit can have something put on it more often than not. You bring that piece of kit to me in character, and I can do it for cheaper. Oh, good. Can that be our first merch? Can that be? <laughs> That's varsity level shit. I'm back in JV, boy. Oh, uh, that's so funny. Uh, <laughs> I actually, you know what? Uh, now this is a true story. Oh, oh, <laughs> was, here we go. I was, I was hooking up with somebody. Oh, great. In the uh, in the, no in the North Shore Lions costume, right? <laughs> and they asked me to do some, you know, pretty advanced things, and I was like. Eh. That's varsity shit. I'm more like JV. <laughs> and they said, what? <laughs> yeah. Look, hey, look. We, I think we may actually need to cut that. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I check I box for explicit. Even funnier. Please. Check, yeah. <laughs> well, let's, can, well, no, we will cut this out. Can, I'm so curious. I Please say, tell me. Oh, it wasn't that. I mean, it's not unusual. It's just I wasn't going to do it. Uh, okay. Um, my let's urban dictionary say, knowledge is is. Um, let's just let's just say I I didn't bring my coupons for a five finger discount. Let's just say that. Oh ah, all right. Well, with that, that we will cut out. Um, <laughs> no, we won't. No, say no. <laughs> Like every piece. You, we did discount. have a whole conversation about docking last time. <laughs> For what? It's not anyway. The, this is on the internet. Fisting's a thing. We now know Trev not into it. Moving on. Not into it. That's so we. So you didn't say not into it. I said not prepared to do it. Oh, God okay. damn it. Well, what's that? <laughs> <laughs> not prepared to do it. That is a significant difference. That yeah, is. Yeah, it is. Any, it's the difference between checking it off of a list and leaving it on the list. It's oh, the God. Difference. Do you remember uh, that? Joke. Yeah. Oh, oh, my God. God. Sorry, on, God. That, um, yeah. on that uh, very outstretched note. Um, no, clearly not stretched. He wasn't prepared. He wasn't prepared. No. Oh, a uh, flip of the wrist it can how, make things oh, a very bad night. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. Can I ask how old you, were you when this happened? 42? <laughs> 43? Oh, geez, so this was happening know. in the middle of the war. Middle of the war, yeah. <laughs> the Great War, I mean. <laughs> the, the Great War. <laughs> the World War I. War, the War of 1812 is what it was. was, this, was back that... in the, <laughs> this happened back in the Louisiana Purchase. <laughs> How old are you, if you don't mind? He won't tell us. <laughs> what do you mean, like, he believes he's been alive time. since the dawn of time. Yeah. Well, like, yeah. Well, Trev, how, we don't Trev, want to tell, know the tell, answer. Uh, no. Tell just, oh, no, no, no. no. Uh, just, I, just so we... Yeah. Sorry, yeah. right, I've discussed this in the Star Trek game. I'm 49. I was born in 1975. Okay. Wait. I... I legitimately thought that you were older than that, and I'm so yeah, sorry. By a solid no. 20 years. I you, actually no, thought you, you were your the only difference. one who remembers that conversation? No! Uh, I'm <laughs> when do you think Gerald R. Ford was president? I thought we knew you, like, knew we him. knew you were alive when Gerald R. Ford was alive. That still was gives born. a decent gap. <laughs> I was being, Elvis was still alive when I was born. That's a long time ago. But it wasn't that long. You know what? You know who wasn't alive? You. M well, yeah, that goes Nobody without else. saying. <laughs> Nobody my, else in the group. My mother and my father. Uh, yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, no, We're no. We're prepared for intergenerational I mean, friendships, everyone. Yeah, yeah, hey, no. On my, I have friends from high school who have uh, 20, 30 year old kids, so. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, two of them so are in this group. Feel, I will uh, say, real old. Yeah. I will say. <laughs> So uh, before we start, um, Kyle, do you think our banter took a took a, a better a better turn? Or no, 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 I definitely forgot to put up the uh, overlay, so no one knows ah. who was talking. Oh, really? <laughs> I'm uh, fairly confident the two people that listen to us have figured out who we are by our voices. Yeah, yeah you think so? Who's the, so the weird, weird feminine one? <laughs> he talks a lot. All of me. them. I figured out who was who pretty quickly when I was listening to you guys. Uh-huh. Yeah, I don't. I don't know why I still put up the overlay. <laughs> you could, pro- I think, probably just to maybe just to confirm that. Anyway, uh... I definitely use it to find out when I'm cutting when you're AFK because I'll just quickly scan through it like hyperspeed for when it's muted. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I think that it's definitely a tool that you should use. Okay. Well, we'll get started. Uh, <sighs> a long time ago, in a galaxy far, far away. Let's try that one again, but with a little more sullen. All right, yeah, for sure. I'll get closer to the mic. Roll it back. Mm -hmm. Yep. A long time ago, in a galaxy far, far away. Is that, is that supposed yeah. to be, like, erotic? I got, little, I got little pointers here. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> I was going to make a hard nipple joke, so <laughs> good on you. <ya. laughs> <laughs> <laughs> Can I go on over here? Uh, yeah. Oh, wow. Last we left... Jeez. Last what? <laughs> last we... Last we left off, um, all hell broke loose on the planet Formos. Um, after um, a fuck, what actually? It was, yeah, last, last time was such a whirlwind. I feel like we need to give me give me just one second. We actually will cut this out. Give me just one second. Good. I'm just pulling up your notes, which I should. Yeah, already it was pretty have rough for most of us. Pam got his yeah. ass beaten. Highbacks oh, walked yeah. through that like was John brilliant, Wick. Just brilliant. Uh, that, a bunch of luck for Cam and Lyman. <laughs> um, I think all of you missed my pun. Yeah, no, no, that's he, what I said. I think that went over. I missed what you said that. entirely. I, I, I thought I was. I, thought I, I was would brilliant. have picked up on the pun. Uh, yeah. Last we left off, um, a lot of things happened. Um, Lina, uh sees uh saw Tam and sorry running towards the Imperial compound uh hoping to free Cam who is being held captive. Um they snuck in and were immediately nerfed murked by uh se- uh several 
a, co- a large complement of stormtroopers. Um, t- uh, Sari's arm was uh, crippled by the um, by the stormtroopers, and Tam just fully went out. Both of them went out. Um, they were then taken captive. Upon which time, through some luck, um, Cam was able to escape from captivity, join up with Lina, and then they all headed back to the Stormrunner. Upon, and back at the Stormrunner, uh, Kybax fully, um, fully went John Wick, uh, murdered several Stormtroopers, uh, they all met up, Cam then, uh, sorry, Kybax then went back to the Imperial office, uh, finished, uh, everyone there, uh, and ended hey, up I killing... Yeah. Uh, ended up killing Captain Castile Cara, taking, uh, fully looting the place once the Stormrunner got there, and taking the injured, um, the injured Sari and the injured Tam, uh, back to the, uh, Stormrunner. They then hightailed it out of there, uh, pretty much convincing the two or three TIE Fighters that were in Orbit of Foremost to get the fuck out, or else they're going to be next. They then... Uh, they then took off to Slaheron. And we pick up the action here. Well, first things first, before we before we uh, get started here, I am going to do what we always do and sometimes almost forget to do. We're going to roll for Destiny here. Um... Destiny, everybody click the button. Why are you all working against me? Yikers. All right. Sorry, it's my kink. As the... Jeez. As the... Um, the rather violent actions on Formos, uh, that were necessary, um sort of weighs on you all in various states of unconsciousness. Um, We are going to go ahead and cut to the Storm Runner. Make sure that our vibes are going. You are at hyperspace. Um, The ship is safe. Uh, Yep, I need a bunch of tokens to be drug out. Doot, 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 and doot. Um, where is the med bay on the ship? Is is one question. Is it this area over here? Yep. Okay. Um, Tam, you are still f- pretty much fully unconscious. Uh, do what? You cut out there. I'm sorry. I didn't hear what- oh, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah. So Tam, uh. Tam is fully still unconscious. He was carried onto the ship. Uh, sorry, you are sort of sitting up, um, sort of perched up against the bed. Uh, and Lina, you're sort of tending to them. Uh, Cam and Kybax. Uh, Cam is probably driving the ship. Uh, oh, there's Kybax's token. Oh, there's two Kybaxes. Um, he reproduces by budding. And <laughs> Uh, yeah, Kybax is sort of hanging around. Um, in the med bay, uh, Lina, yeah, oh, and J9, yes, 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 J9, and, and W, named respectively. Um, W and J9 are hanging out in the med bay, sort of where the most of the action is taking place. Uh, Cam, I'm assuming. Assuming you're driving the ship. What is Kybax doing? Um, Kybax actually needs to be in the med bay um, because he has two critical injuries that he's just kind of been dealing with. Okay. <laughs> uh, crowded area in the med bay. Uh, kind of, Lina, you see your patients sort of. You're, I mean, you have medical training. You're not like a full. Doctor, <laughs> I have a, uh, I have a med droid. 
<laughs> yeah. So, oh, yeah. Well, we should. Uh, God, that's that. No, so it, it's one of the little floating before. Medroids. No, it's a. Uh, it gives me a oh, right. surgeon. I see. Yes, um, your Medroid is sort of. Um, you see, he uh, he's using sort of his uh, hooked appendages to um, to close the face, the facial lacerations on Tam. Um, sorry, you're just sort of sitting there, your arm. Uh, sort of limp. Uh, okay. Um, okay. He's, he's sewing up Tam. Uh, Kaibak's going to have to give me a minute. Um, w, can you take J9 over to my workshop? I don't have time to build you a body yet, or even the parts, but we're going to slay Heron, so maybe I can get them there. So just both of you, please. You're, you're just underfoot right now, and sorry, let's take a look at that hand. Uh, um, you see W whistles back, and, and J9 says, uh, but don't worry about me. You don't... You, you obviously have your hands full. Uh, I will be carried by W to the, um, to uh, oh, we're and we're going. Oh, okay. Oh, I, you see that W <laughs> W slams slams J nine's head into sort of the the wall as they disappear down the mech, mech, uh, engineering hallway. Okay, so I know um, I'm going to have to spend a lot of time on Tam while he's unconscious because there's a bunch of things that are broken on him, and you've got a hole in your hand. Kaibex, what's wrong with you? Uh, you, for the first time that you have ever seen, are seeing Kybex kind of lean against a wall. I just need a pain reliever. Oh, okay. All right, cool. Uh, she's <laughs> start with him because mm-hmm. he seems right. to be the fastest and easiest. Yes, reverse triage. Um, okay, all the major triaging has happened. It's been like yes. six hours. Ah. <laughs> yep, 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 yep. Um, for sure. Let's continue recovering. Perfect. Um, specifically, the only one that I really need got, uh, you know, well, it's just until the end of the encounter. So, yeah, just take away the uh, stinger and I'll be good. Yes. Um, for that, um, the difficulty of the medicine check to get rid of a critical injury. Are we so specifically, Lina? As you as you uh, take a look at Kybacks, are you dealing with the wounds first? Or are you dealing with the critical injuries? Uh, whatever is causing the most pain. The wounds take uh, at least a week to deal with. So. Oh, sorry, uh, critical injuries take at least a week to deal with. So I'm taking care of the wounds and concurrently taking care of the critical injuries. They're going to have to mm-hmm. keep coming in every, like, six hours. <laughs> yes. Um, for this here, persistent until treated. Okay. Yeah, we'll start with the wounds. Okay, cool. Um, for that there, uh, yeah, the effect has expired. I just had a um, thought. Shouldn't, mm-hmm. uh, sorry, be rolling two force dice for, uh, for the destiny pool, since she has a force rating of two now. I don't believe that I that's have how that works. Oh, you? Oh. <laughs> no, no, that's not how that works. That's it's not okay. That no, was... that's just for force powers, as far as I know. Yeah, I've, yeah. There's um, it's just everybody rolls one of those uh force yeah. die in order to just set the down. Um. So you are actually able. So with a medicine check, you are able to um, to get rid of critical injuries. Like you can still succeed yeah, on. You just have a to. You already check. can have one a week. Yeah. Well, well, recovering from from. I think naturally, you have. They have a chance to roll, like. Uh, so no, uh, you can so see. So here, uh, so it all comes the, down so to the actual roll. Uh, you get one wound per a success. Every success beyond the success is an extra wound. Yeah. A uh, triumph can heal critical injuries as well as additional wounds. Mm-hmm. Uh, it, so if I'm healing wounds, there's a chance I can heal a critical wound if I get a triumph. Right, but the um, with I think the weak metric that you're using is um, is for rest. So they can only recover one critical injury per per week naturally, but like with medical care, um, you can do you can do that since we're outside of an encounter. You can do that, and it 
Oh, a character may attempt one medicine check per week per critical injury. Okay, well, I'm over here. Yep. <laughs> um, <laughs> just continue reading the fucking whatever. Uh, all right. Yeah, do whatever you want to do. <clears throat> I will take care of the wounds to start. Okay. Because if I get a uh, triumph, yes. I can use it to cure his critical. For sure. So, uh, his current wounds are equal to half or less of his wound threshold, so it will just be a difficulty one medicine check. Um, okay. I, yeah. I get an ex so I get an extra two wounds on top of this for my two ranks in surgeon. Alrighty. Never mind. Take Kybox, here. you're done. <laughs> um Kybox. <laughs> All right. Well so so yeah. Um yeah, four advantages. I will uh yeah, so since you have you have two days of travel time here. So yeah. I will say, yeah, it's per once per encounter that you can do one of these. Um, I think you just have to do something else before trying again, essentially. Yeah. Here's some painkillers. I'll get to you in a bit. Just go sit in the lounge and rest. You got it. Okay. All right. Sorry. Let's see if I can patch up that hand. Can you pass me the. Um, just kind of yeah. shrugs. <clears throat> Tell me if this hurts. For sure. Um, let's go ahead and take a look. So, the severity of the crippled hand is a severity 3. So, that is going to be the difficulty for the medicine check. Yeah. Uh, difficulty 3 medicine check. Um, uh, so, you're so you're identifying specifically you're going for the critical injury. Okay. So, success of this means that you get rid of the critical injury. Yeah. Um, I'm going to use the light side point. All right. Use it before someone else wastes it on me. And there it is. Yep. One success and two advantages, I believe. Can you use those advantages towards uh, wounds yeah. as well? Advantages heal one. Uh, they also heal strains. So uh, each success beyond heals one wound. Uh, All right. I get another two wounds. So technically they should lose three wounds as well as the critical injury. As well as the critical injury. Yes. Um, you begin uh, with the, the... You see this, um, this surgeon droid sort of takes a look. And what is the name of the surgeon droid? Did you Have you named it I, yet? I, of course I named it. Who do you think you're talking to? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, give MD4. me a designation. MD4? So MD for short. Yeah. And, well, very nice. MD... <clears throat> MD4. All right. So, uh, with MD's assistance, you see that he sort of, uh, the droid sort of follows your you as you move along. Um, this takes a decent amount of time. Uh, you go through, um, you see several bunches of nerves are, were completely damaged. Um, you continue to go through there's a lot of um there would normally be blood loss but since the this is an energy weapon doing this a lot of the damage is nerve related so it's a lot of burned away flesh um a lot of nerve bundles that are just not where they are not where they were before um you put in some nerve grafts you you um fix up the skin. Uh, sorry, as this is going, sort of MD is anesthetizing you as you go. Um, you begin to sort of feel your arm again, which at first is not good because it starts hurting really a lot. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> yeah, yeah, and you can it continues uh, going up, and you see that as the last sort of patch of skin goes up, um, you are down to three wounds on your wound track, uh, and you have full feeling of your left arm. Mm. As we continue going, <sighs> line of yawns. Okay, sorry, um, okay, yeah. take just go rest for a bit. Can you close the curtain on your way out? I got to start on some of the bigger ham issues. She hands whatever tool she's working on to her third arm and 
Mm. Okay, I see what's wrong with you. Picks up a pair of scissors and starts cutting his pants. Jessa, Jessa, do you want to... Um, I'm not sure if you can get closer to your mic or um, turn up the input volume on a little bit. You are just coming in a little Is quiet. that a little better? Yeah, that's much better. Yeah. Uh, could you I'm... say what you... Could you say what you oh. said again? Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Sorry just shrugs and says, you should have left me for last. I, I, no, like, he's he's fine. Yours was important. Just thank you for your concern. Can you, um, you shut the curtain? Okay. Okay. Okay, here we she go. She shuts the curtain. Okay. Um, sorry, uh, as you are, um... <laughs> Uh, dismissed from the med bay. Where do you go first? Uh, you can see. Uh, you see, sort of around the corner, Kybax is just kind of sitting in the lounge. I'm assuming, just sort of um, not doing. He is. He has started disassembling uh, his bola carbine to replace the energy pack. Um, gun parts all over the table. Yeah, she's just gonna sit next to him and just kind of lean against him. Doing all right, kid. She just shrugs. This wasn't on you. Yes, it was. It really wasn't. It was on me for sending you there in the first place. Um. If you're willing, I'd, I'd like to train you up a little bit so that you can make sure this doesn't happen again. So next time I'm... So that this doesn't happen again. I can't... I'm sorry I put you in that position. If I hadn't been... So shall we. Wouldn't have happened at all. The Force is a part of you. Not your fault mm-hmm. the Empire's a bunch of decuts. Doesn't change the fact that they wouldn't have been there if I had not done what I did. That's on them. That ain't on you. She just kind of shrugs like, eh, you're not gonna... You're not gonna relent. She knows that. Well, if you're bound and determined, you can always work on maybe being a little, little less showy with the abilities. I remember uh, the Jedi used to be able to do things subtly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hey. Mm-hmm. If you need anything, you know I'm here for you, right? Of course. Thank you, Uncle. You're welcome. And hey, uh, you got any weapons need maintain? Hand them over. I'll I'll give them a look. I think I'm okay right now. You see, uh, sort of. Well, no. Uh, w sort of walks, uh, rolls by, sort of. Um, does the concerned, like, um, protocol sound the and um, sort of just nudges Kai back? You want to go zap? Uh, hey, you want to go watch this one zap? Uh, Bandon Nova? That'll make you feel better. She shrugs. <laughs> w oh, makes wow. a very concerned noise. Uh, <laughs> uh, 
he well, he hasn't got of, this happened yet. And we've been. <laughs> he said that's what he wanted to do. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I guess you're right. Yeah, that was a condition of his employment that he get to zap Band and Doba. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, I mean, <laughs> W does. Uh, does and sort of opens the door, shuts it. Um, after a moment, you go, Hey, what the fuck? Shot! <laughs> I think, um, do do the tie-back doesn't laugh, but the energy is marketable. Mm-hmm. Uh, you see, W sort of walks by. Walks by. He walks by. He grows legs and walks by. Um, <laughs> sort of. Uh, it's just stolen abandoned Nobas. Yep. <laughs> uh, the door opens. Cam. Uh, w is sort of. He jacks into the um, to the computer console really quick, and he says, um, "I have it from here. If you want to." close your eyes for a moment, or whatever you humanoids do. I think I'll go get something to eat. Thanks, W. Wee wee! And you see W takes over the piloting controls. Am I interrupting? Um, kind of, kind of. Turns the helmet so that the visor's looking at Sari and then looks up at Cam like, I'm an acts of service kind of guy, and there's not much I can do here. <laughs> That's communicated, but not said. Okay. <laughs> yes, that, that incredibly, yeah, that incredibly specific um, <laughs> character moment. So um, and if it yeah, wasn't for the Mandalorian, cute. like... We, they have proven they can convey so much with just a mask. <laughs> mm-hmm. It's it's the body language. <laughs> but, you know, Mandalorians have it down to an art form. Uh, what are you cooking? That is a good question. Uh, you take a look at some of the supplies that y'all have stored up. Um... The stores are pretty... I mean, you guys have been... You guys have a decent amount of food stores here. It's just sort of you're missing some of the stuff that'll make it actually taste good. Um, You see... Good thing we have a bunch of spice. Did it... Okay, um, going to do her best to make some comfort food. Yeah, you see that you have some... Uh, you have these... Uh, can sort of starchy small vegetables um you have some some actually you actually were able to pick up on your last round some red uh kind of like red bell pepper almost um you and you have some you know substitute like dairy products and stuff uh you have a you have enough to like make some hummus and like have some pita with, with it Right then, she's gonna make that. Cool. You get sort of the the <laughs> industrial size, like. Oh, and you also, you guys also, um, did you install the coffee maker? The cafe, the cafe maker. Uh, is it something we can just plug and go? If so, then absolutely fucking yes. Yeah. So you do need to clear some room for it, uh, but you can see it's sort of it's like we can put it in but you can see it's kind of blocking the way to the uh to the port uh, <laughs> escape pod um you see a big calf cylinder just sort of leaning against it it's plugged in and it's ready to go yeah remind me to see what i can do about getting a bigger kitchen get um... a bigger ship <laughs> well, i was thinking yeah. maybe we could put some you know additional shelf space along this wall over here Mm-hmm. You do have like a cool little pantry area in here. You could get rid of one of those shelves and then put the calf maker right there. We could. Uh, yeah, you finish up making the hummus and the pita, and I'm assuming you walk over. Yep. All right. Sit down. Set the food down. 
do you have an emergency induction port? Go fish. <laughs> no, no, Jack knows what I'm talking about. Yeah, I do. I do. <laughs> I thought, can I tell you, can we push, push pause? I want to tell you what I thought that that meant. I thought you and Sari were playing like cards, but instead you were using the weapon parts. <laughs> no. It's not even close to what was happening. <laughs> There's a, a scene in Mass Effect 3 where a character who is constantly wearing an environment suit because they're allergic to everything and will die if they don't mm -hmm. is drunk. And they explained that they managed to ingest the alcohol through the clever use of this emergency induction port. Tali, that's a straw. <laughs> emergency Induction port. <laughs> oh, so I was way off. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I said go fish. God, I'm an idiot. <laughs> well, when people make references to media you're not familiar with. Yeah, no, no, for sure. We've all been there. Uh, as as you guys start sort of getting back to like normalcy, <sighs> not being shot at, eating your hummus. Um, Lana, go ahead and give me what do you you see? Tam's um, Tam's wounds are currently at thirty nine. Um, I will say that he's currently yeah. So unless you reduce his wound threshold to below his yeah. th current wounds to below his threshold, he will remain unconscious. Um. But you do know that you could probably bring him back up. It would mean reversing all the pain meds that he's on. Um, but yeah, which so what do you... Idea. Which is a, which is a bad idea, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so while her med droid and... She's, do, she's stitching, she's resetting, she's doing everything she can mm -hmm. to stabilize. Or continue stabilizing. So yes, I will do a medicine check to reduce his wound threshold or his wounds down to a respectable level okay um so what would so this is going to be a difficulty three medicine check uh his current wounds do exceed his wound threshold by a significant number by almost uh, by I would like to employ stim packs Yes, Thanks. so for that, um, how many stim packs do you have? I have at least two between the two med packs we have. Technically, they generate a single stim pack per encounter. Uh, mm -hmm. And I think that might be it for stim packs on this ship. <laughs> uh, I have two stim packs. I have four stim packs. <laughs> uh, anybody else have a two? Uh, you, I'm counting the. I'm counting your med pack. I'm counting my med pack, and I'm counting Sari's too. If I administer uh, a Cam will pack, donate it's... two stim packs to the uh, to okay. the cause. Mm -hmm. They can only well, have you five can have a one day. Of those. Yeah. <laughs> no. Okay. So yeah. what? One. So at best, yeah, I'll take one. At best, it can be nine, twelve, fourteen. So it's fifteen wounds if you use all. If you use five stim packs, it's fifteen wounds. Add an extra five to that. I add plus one, so I roll six, five, yeah, four, so three, two. Yep. Yeah, so it's twenty then. Yeah. So I can do twenty plus my check. All right. Yep. So, so twenty. Uh, twenty immediately. Yeah. You load him up. Um, that reduces his current wounds to nineteen. Yep. Uh, he currently his threshold is at twelve. Um, he is currently at 19, so this is... I don't believe it's possible on one roll unless you roll very, very well. Yeah, no. It's not possible on one roll. Mm-hmm. Uh, how about this? I will say... If... So, if you want to try to bring him up now, you do have two days of travel time, so it's, so it's not necessarily... Um, succeed at a... I, I will spend one of my dark side points... Um, and then I will, 
I will upgrade a difficulty on a hard check by one. So so just like so yeah. one red, two purples. Yep. If you do that, I will have him be like in a like his body fully paralyzed, but he can be awake. Okay. Uh well I can't spend that back at you, so you get what you get. Mm-hmm. Hey. There it is. Uh so six extra wounds on that. Yeah, six extra wounds. That's oh, very, very close though. Uh, that's thirteen wounds out of twelve. Um, Tam, you awake. everything is pain. Yeah, so you wake up <laughs> and naked. You're, uh, you're, yeah. He is, and Tam, you, you. The first thing you do realize is you are fully naked. Um, you are covered by a sheet at least. Yeah. Um. Line of three arms, goggles down, there's a droid floating above you. Mm-hmm. Um, your eyes open and you see Lina in full work mode, not unattractively fixing you. Um, you see MD is sort of is keeping you held down mostly as Lina is performing actual surgery on you. Um, you wake up. You are in considerable pain, <laughs> uh, but you are conscious. Okay. Yeah. He opens his eyes and says, "Oh, Lina, Lina." Oh shit! Oh god! Why are you awake? <laughs> oh. oh. He looks down. Drugs, 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 drugs. He goes, "Oh, wait, wait a minute. Tell me one thing, please." One thing. Yeah, yeah, you're gonna be fine. Just shut up, shut up. I gotta find the drugs. Hey. Yeah. Hey, hey, grab, I grab my hand and go. Oh, oh. Two things first. Did you take me to dinner first? What? No, I mean, he looks no. down and uh, um, at his at his naked body. <laughs> oh God, God! No! 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 Um! No! Uh! No! No! And, and Are you all right back there? Yeah, Wait, yeah, ev- everything's fine, everything's fine. Um, it, no, we're good. Everything's... True. <laughs> tell me. Tell me you can fix my face. Um, well, I... Um, maybe? It's the money maker. <laughs> do, do you well, knock him out? Yeah. Just, okay. Just, do, <laughs> do, you a, do, do you a medicine check difficulty one? Uh... I will, yeah, medicine injected just to just to anesthetize him. <laughs> yeah, you, you see, you miss the vein. <laughs> oh, oh, it passes out from the vein. <laughs> um, she, uh, she very shyly grabs an extra sheet and just throws it on him. <laughs> Okay. Well, he, um, MD, just keep an eye on him. Let me know. I'm gonna go to. Yeah. Just let me know if anything happens, Kate. Mm-hmm. And then she's going to zombie walk her way to engineering. You guys all see <sighs> Lina's haunted expression as as she walks by, trying to not see make eye contact. You all right, kid? I'm fine. Just got work to do. Bye. Taking the white coat that has Tam's blood on it off, and she realized he was naked that whole time, didn't she? Okay, I think I'm gonna make sure she has something to eat. <laughs> oh, you're drawing a path. It's so excuse, nice. Excuse, excuse me, J Knight. I'm just I move his uh, head aside. And I pull oh. out a sketch pad and I start drawing. I hope, I hope that's not your. Bl- oh, no, Master Cameron. Well, not no. Master Cameron. Cameron. I, Cam um, just sets some food down, winks, oh. and walks off. You see, it's, thank, thank uh, you. It's, it's hummus, lovely plated with some olive oil and hot sauce. Yeah. Uh, I continue sketching my next project. Need something to relax with. Okay, but how quickly does that sketch turn into Tam's naked butt? Mm-hmm. 
It does not, but make part a, of the sketch a, does get ruined when she falls asleep on it. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right. So, we do have a con- uh, now a probably around uh, very close to two days worth of travel time. Uh, that two days is, is yours to use however we'd like. I know that we would probably um, we probably I'm not sure if we have any more social scenes that we wanted to run. We could absolutely continue moving. I believe forward. there is a list. That, well, <laughs> um, <laughs> some of them do require a slay run. <laughs> yeah. Let me <laughs> yes, let me get to my list. Uh <laughs> I believe there is a list. So funny. Um Yes. Yes. Research ahead of time. What kind of role would I have to do to try and heal from a critical injury? Um, so that role wouldn't happen for another five days. So Yeah, you just have to come harass Lina when she has a minute. Or you could try it on your own, but it would be a resilience check. Um Okay. After, yeah, Lina, you you fall asleep. Um, yeah, we'll we'll take a couple of them. Uh, Tam, you are sort of sitting awake. Um, MD has sort of deactivated for the night. You. You just are hooked up to some feeds at this moment. I'm sorry, my medical droid who was on. Watch him and let me know. Put himself to sleep? Uh, you know, just like a sleep mode. Yeah, you know. Oh. Um, <laughs> I was going to have sorry. fucking words, and MD5 was about to join the crew. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sorry, you noticed that um, Tam, Tam is sort of awake and... He's still, like, covered up with his sheet, but, um, there's no one really in there. What do you mean there's no one really in there? Yeah, there's no, yeah, I was, um, yeah, I just was saying that. You're, you're sort of walking by. Um, for a moment it start, sounded like you were trying to insinuate that Tam was in a coma. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was, I was a little unsure. Oh, I'm sorry. His chest yeah. rises and falls, but there's no one really in there. Yeah. <laughs> All uh, right. Okay. Well. Yeah. Um, sorry, I was trying to prompt you, but. Okay. No, mm-hmm. that's fine. Um. Yeah. She's definitely hey, hey. gonna walk in and just kind of wistfully look down, like she's uh. Feeling a heavy burden over this whole ordeal. Still feels incredibly guilty. Damn, you're sort of lost in your own thoughts, just not really able to move, and you sort of sense a presence in your room with you. The Tam looks up and says, Oh, sorry. Just come here. Proceed. Kind of looks at him like, what? He gives her a wave. Come here, come here. She kind of reluctantly agrees and heads over. It's feeling. It... Sorry, you're really quiet for me. All right. How are you feeling, kid? I mean... She kind of motions down to him, like... How do you think I feel? Hopefully not as bad as me. I can tell you that much. Oh, boy, we had a hell of a time back there, didn't we? She just kind of sighs, because she's like... I mean... You wouldn't be there if it wasn't for me. How would you think it? 
sorry, you broke up. Nick says, is that what you think? I mean, it's the truth. Well, listen, when I heard Cam and Lina were in there, nothing, and I mean nothing, was going to keep me from getting them out. Not you, not Kybex, not the Empire. That, that sound okay? <clears throat> she kind of sighs a little bit, like, but if I hadn't been so stupid with my powers... Look, look, kid. If there's one thing I've learned, is that the best thing you can have is mates who look for your back, look out for you, who cover your back, who are covering my back, who are covering Kamen Lina's back, Highbacks are covering our back. This thing we've got here, it's... Well, let me just say, I'm lucky to be here. When you close your eyes at night, I want you to remember that. You're lucky to be here, the people you have around you, just like me. It's, uh, it's, it's been tough making my way in the world by myself on my own. I haven't really had a lot of people looking out for me. And quite frankly, when I first boarded this ship, I didn't think that you guys would look at me either. I was working for Maber. I had a price on my head. You didn't ask questions. You just accepted me. As I am. I mean, what else is there to do? Uh, trust me. Trust me. <laughs> if you had the same friends that I've had in my life, it's a lot more that you could do. A lot worse. I mean, that doesn't you? sound like friendship. That sounds like... You've been forced to work with shitty people. Yeah. Sounds like desperation is what it sounds like. And that's exactly what it is. Desperation. I ain't desperate anymore. Well, that's good, isn't it? He puts his, uh, his hand over Sari's hand. She says, yeah. Pretty good. Kind of looks at him and sighs. I wish I knew how to heal you. I think I think Lana is doing a pretty good job. Yeah, I mean, Lana's amazing. Yeah, but she is, isn't she? Just like you. Mm. Well, if if there's anything I can do for you, please. Yeah, just there is. Me. There is. Yeah. She looks up, hope with hope in her eyes. Smile when you think of me. She, like, blinks and stares at him for a second. Die. And then just kind of, like, sighs. Such a dumbass. But she's, she's smiling the whole time. <laughs> how are you so stupid? And how is it so fucking endearing? <laughs> you guys just laugh at each other. Yeah. <laughs> he starts laughing and goes, Oh, it, it hurts. <laughs> that really gets her, her cracking up. It's like, oh my god. 
What am I gonna do with you? <laughs> yeah, I was I was just making sure that you knew that he was obviously joking when he said that. I mean, <laughs> when he said he's hurt, <laughs> just, uh, just not to make just not to make her feel bad. Mm -hmm. uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you you see that MD is like, tweet tweet tweet. Oh, he just comes over. Um, <laughs> you guys, everybody sort of walks around. Uh, beautiful. Did beautiful. Lina get the alarm? Yeah, li yeah, Lina. You you woke up. You see Lina Google comes is covering your drawing, sprinting in. Piece of paper stuck to the side of it. What's wrong? What? Why is everyone laughing? <laughs> She's half asleep still. I don't know. <laughs> I'm laughing because he's a fucking idiot. Okay. Well, <laughs> that gets all of then. you laughing. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh. All right. Yeah. You. You have that very pretty moment with each other. I love that. Um. Yes. Well, let's see here. Uh, the next day sort of lingers around. You see W gives everybody a status report. No no noticeable contacts on the trade route. You're being... You, you all have this sense that you've been holding your breath for such a long time. You've been on the run. You've been actively running towards danger. And now you're... You've, you feel like a sense of normalcy return to the ship. We're not talking about spice, at least at the moment. We're not talking about Imperials sort of getting in the way. You all just sort of get back into your normal routines. Um, you all wake up whenever you guys wake up. Breakfast is sort of being prepared and a new day dawns. Um, okay. Continuing. Uh, yeah. Uh, both. Yeah, let's, let's see here. Uh, Cam, do you, do you head right into the kitchen to start cooking or do you go up, do you, are you going around to the flight deck? Uh, well, if there's anything going on on the flight deck, alarms would be blaring. So she's going to. Mm -hmm. She's going to head to the kitchen. Okay, for sure. You whom through the wall? Yes, you do. <laughs> Kybex is already cooking. Yeah, Kybex? Yeah? At some point today, uh, when you got a moment, I'd like to talk to you. I got a moment right now. What's up? In private. All right. Appreciate it. Well, uh, let me put the finishing touches on this. Just a scramble. Uh, you see a Northwest scramble with some leftover hummus in it. Um, and yes, I said Northwest. Um, full of contempt. Anyway, continuing. <laughs> Stupid. Where you want to meet? Outside. What? Uh, I'm sorry, for some reason, I thought you were talking about like breakfast sausage or something. No, I <laughs> said, where do you want to go? <laughs> you, well, you said, where do you want to meet? And then she said, outside? Uh, on the side. <laughs> I thought it was like adding it to the scramble or yeah. something. <laughs> uh, camel motion to the cargo bay. Yeah. Oh, the scramble you guys are... got ice sausage in it. Mm -hmm. As you guys are walking in, Lina sleepily walks by, grabs the plates for my patient by. <laughs> Cam thumbs up. Sorry, uh, are you, are you, uh, <laughs> did you hang out in the Met Bay all night, or are you, did you go back and sleep? Uh, probably hung out there all day, basically. Yeah. Um, Lina, you walk in and you see Sorry sort of rest, uh, sort of leaning against the bed. Cam, I, Cam did, did you guys go to sleep that that previous night, or were you just up yeah. shooting the shit? <laughs> yeah, I mean he's pretty tired. He's still mm -hmm. drugged, so he he did fall asleep eventually. 
Mm -hmm. Cool. Uh, uh, and yeah, you guys are back in the cargo bay. Uh, Kai, Kai Max, and Cam. Uh, you guys hear from the from like the from like the inside of the uh, the cargo the the, the life pods. Uh, <laughs> Aren't hey. they in the uh, the other cargo bay? Nope. No, they're in this. No, one. they're in. Yeah, this one is full. Is like you hear it like on the other side of a big stack of cargo. This this okay. cargo bay is full. Not here then. Oh, okay. Um. Yes. Uh, the explosive heavy one. Yeah. <laughs> the soundproof one. What's wrong? I I've never really paid that much attention to your job, you know, the specifics. But the Imperial problem aside, if that's kind of what it, it, it's normally like, I can't do that. I can promise you that that was anything but normal. I'm not talking about what happened with the Imperials. I'm talking about with getting banned in Doba. Kybex, I ordered my sister to murder someone in cold blood. Yeah. Like I said, that that was far from normal. I normally <laughs> don't go after people like that. At least not without several more months of prep. I didn't realize what we'd be walking into. I'm sorry about that. And believe you me, I'm going to have words with Mabel when we get there. She did not warn me of this. If I had had any inkling that it was going to be like this, I would not have brought you. Hold, hold up, hold up, hold up. What did Mabel tell you? She told me it was a uh, retrieval gig. I was getting a guy and bringing him back to her. She told me nothing about any Black Suns connection. She told me nothing about any Imperial connection. She didn't mention that this man was an extremely dangerous pirate. She told me nothing. You realize Cam is smiling. <laughs> Why? What, what's going on in your brain? Ibex, that's leverage. Well, yeah, I was going to use it to get a lot more money. Yeah, uh, uh, at least. Let, let, let me do the talking when we get to Mayba. All right. I love it. Uh, there's wheels spinning in her brain. We don't have the ship. But we have the target. We have the spice. And we have the fact that Maba sent us in blind and we still accomplished that mission. And we have Maba's pride. We can weaponize all of that. Sometimes you remind me too much of your dad and it's a little bit scary. I'll take that as a compliment, Uncle Kybax. <laughs> it was Mantis Ever one. Good, because he was a great teacher. Okay. How's life going here? Continuing, I hope? Oh, um, yeah, um... He's asleep, but, um... Yeah. Him, he, 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 he'll get up. He's a dumbass. I love is it. He gonna, is he gonna stay asleep? No, he's just asleep. He's not drugged or anything. Can you drug um, him? I mean... I thought I could. And, um... <laughs> uh, the reason I ask is I need to take off my helmet. And, uh, I can't do that if he is awake. Oh, okay, um, uh, yeah, um... I, I can just... And she kicks the uh, the locks on the table and just rolls them out. Sorry, if you could take MD and uh, go over there somewhere. <laughs> okay. Uh, without waiting for Sorry to leave, he takes off the helmet. 
there is a cut above his right eye that has bled down all over the right uh left side of his face down into his uh uh skin suit collar uh i didn't want to say anything while we were still dealing with tam but uh we'll just is everyone on this ship an idiot? <sighs> she gets back to work. At least Cam's not injured. I mean... I'm gonna go get some breakfast. Here, get Cam is injured, but... <laughs> Lina doesn't know that. <laughs> I don't know if... Sorry's never seen his face before. I don't know if Sorry knows what, what it means for him to take off his helmet. In I front don't of her. think she really does. Mm -hmm. But, uh... I mean, she's just kind of like, okay, that's cool. Okay. She uh, looks... What do we got uh, here? She, she grins as, as she's walking by and is like, ah, oh, so that's why you keep your helmet on. Don't want to scare the locals, huh? <laughs> Something like that. Lina grabs uh, some sort of cleaning agent, whichever yeah. burns the most. <laughs> he doesn't let out a sound. All right. Um, and are we doing wounds or critical injury? Critical injury. All right. This will. And which one are we going with? Uh, uh the, the winded's the more severe one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, let's get rid of the winded. I'm feeling lucky. All right. Yeah, it'll be difficulty two. Upgrading with the light die. Let's get our tank back on his feet. All right. And so that should also heal four wounds. All right. Okay. Down to three wounds on the wound track. And uh, winded. You feel... Um, you don't... You actually don't... You, you kind of blot the blood away, but you realize that... Um, as you do a more a uh, thorough examination, you know you notice that his ribs are broken. Um, that some of them are. Uh, you uh, wrap those um, sort of underneath his chest guard, and you feel um, you feel your breath returning to you, Cavex. And you didn't and you realize and you didn't realize it until now. You were actually out of breath that whole time. Oh wow! I didn't even register those. Oh, you, you you didn't you didn't register that at least three ribs are broken. Oh, okay, that would explain I've the head work. injury. Okay, take all of these. She just hands you drugs. <laughs> Come see me awesome. tomorrow. I follow them. Go lie down. Take your armor <laughs> off. If I come by your quarters and you're not asleep, I'm stealing your helmet, so you can't leave the room. All right, all right. He puts his helmet back on before he leaves. Mm -hmm. Next. <laughs> um, I got sent to my room. Well, best behave. Doctor's in a bad mood. Okay, sorry. Thanks. Uh, Can you bring Tam back in? Okay. He, he rolled Real the bed back, back in. in. Sort of locks into sort of these sunken in uh, wheel areas on the floor of the med bay. And he's just, <laughs> just sort he's definitely, of... <laughs> definitely snoring. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, fully... Yeah, just... MD, notify me when he's awake. We need to feed him, but I'm not going to wake him up for now. Um, takes the cold eggs. They're just sitting on his legs. <laughs> Here you go, sorry. She hands the, the plate. He's not eating right now. How are you feeling? Anything? No? Okay. <laughs> it's like the most overworked doctor in the world. I think uh, that's a fucking mechanic. <laughs> yeah, you're a mechanic. <laughs> what is a body but an organic machine? She grabs her day-old hummus and carrot plate. Gets back to work <laughs> on another thing. Alright, what thing is that? 
the uh, special project. Ooh, special project. You know what it is. Are, are we being secretive with the special project? For now. Once it's done, it's done. Hey, baby girl. Hey, baby girl. Okay. Um, I love how one of the things on your list is study medicine. <laughs> it is. Uh, all right. Yeah, let's take a look at that. Um, Tell me I don't have to study medicine and I won't. <laughs> the, uh, that thing, I'm assuming that oh, is right. linked somewhere. Oh, yeah, I, uh, I just sent it to you a couple of minutes ago just to move it faster. Oh, thank you. Um, uh, oh, for, oh, thank you. Okay, cool. Um, yes, so for the design of this... We'll call it the care. Gun here. Yeah, we'll call it the care. Um, let's take a look. So it's either gadget crafting or it's going to be... And that is... So, you have a couple of... Uh, a couple of options with this. Um, your main, uh, I guess. So you, you have. I will say that you've already sort of thought up the design of this. Um, the specific form that it's going to take is going to be up to you. Or did I decide before? No, we have. But it basically, it's going to be a one-handed, like multi-cylinder, like three-chambered grenade launcher. Mm-hmm. For sure. Um, okay. Five backs is like, what? <laughs> All right. Grenade launcher, you say? <laughs> sure. Oh, with this specialist tool, choose a general skill, add that, back to cannon, blah, 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 blah. I think we are going to, because it's a grenade launcher, I'm going to do the ranged weapon crafting first. So, yeah, for this, I'm going to require two checks, and I'm also going to charge you up front. Yeah, that's fair. Um, so you're gonna do the top, the solid projectile pistol and the energy pistol. Um, the ma- doing, you take. Uh huh. We're doing both. Or I thought you were merging those. I'm sorry. No, no, that's just um range table. That's, cra- that's just the various ways to craft items, so you oh, wouldn't have to okay. search them all. For sure. So yeah. It, te- so. it technically falls under the solid projectile tool. That's yes. why it's either a solid projectile or the specialist tool, depending on how you... Is there it. a uh, reference guide for this? Yes. Um, for this, uh, I will say... Yeah, it doesn't... Yeah, because it's not, like, that impre- It's a tool that I'm just modifying. Mm-hmm. So... I'm going to leave this up to you. So the, um, the specialist tool, I will say the the... The, in order to convert a specialist tool into the care, um, it's going to take longer, but the check is going to be easier. Uh, if you want to do, and it's going to be more expensive, or you can do the solid projectile pistol. It's cheaper. It take uh, it takes a shorter amount of time, but the in order to convert that, there could be some complications, and it's going to be a diff- more difficult roll. So it's going to be like between a difficulty three and a difficulty four. I'll do the specialist tool. And okay. I am going to customize the grip. Alrighty. Uh, for that here, I'm going to require... This, this is going to be a mechanics drill. Um, you're not that great at those, so I'm sure this will go great. Um, yeah, so specialist tool. Uh, go ahead and take 400 credits worth of whatever that you oh, yeah, would like. I believe parts. you have your own stash. I have my own stash of parts, yep. <laughs> Yes, uh, your own stash of parts. Man, I'm this using... is going to be f- yeah. fun to listen okay. to. Um, I'll give you 500 credits worth explosives and combustibles. <laughs> oh, seems fair. On top of that, or no, no, oh, no oh, to, yeah, 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 to cover the credit you. cost. Yeah. For sure. Yep. So you uh, you open up a crate of those. Uh, so you're using not just the explosives in there, but you're using the casings, you're using that sort of stuff to sort of make a kit batched version of your specialist tool. Um, that will cover it. Go ahead and give me a average mechanics check. So this will be difficulty two. 
Okay, difficulty two. Seems pretty straightforward. Yeah. Um, you hear, uh, everybody else hears as this happens. Oh, wow. Just so good. And then the additional successes, I'm going to, I believe advantages would reduce the time, but you don't have any. Um, you all hear, uh, after breakfast sort of concludes, you hear um, jam music go on in the engineering bay. The door shuts. <laughs> and you all see just uh, fusion cutting light from inside the engineering bay. You're all, you all hear noises in there that you would consider being akin to, like, wrestling. Um, <laughs> let me know, let me know if any of this is out of, nope. is out of pocket. Um, you hear things being thrown, several curse words being uttered. Um, you all just sort of have that moment where you're looking out of your TV as, as a son of a bitch fucking oh, goes as... He not a word, J9. Of... <laughs> I'm not saying anything. Just don't use my body. Um, don't don't use my We head, don't please. have parts for your body. <laughs> ah! <laughs> and I think all of you have known Lina enough to where when she's in build mode, you just got to get away. You just got to stay away. Let it happen. Um, Lina. After a full 10 hours of this sound with no breaks, you see the casing of. Right, so it goes from directly. Is there a look at another? Yeah, okay, cool. So you see the casing of your care weapon. For this. Okay. I am going to ask for a yeah. So to fully convert this, I'm going to ask for a difficulty three mechanics roll. Uh, this will take the rest of the day in order to do this. Um, and yes, you've already inputted the cost for it. Um, okay. Yes. Go ahead and make difficulty three mechanics roll odd because this is something that you have not made before. Um, and due to how sort of kind of stressed you are, I am going to spend dark side point to upgrade a difficulty by one. Let's see how it goes. Yikes. Okay, but this is this is interesting. Okay. Um, may give item an additional one use function. Could that one use function be it worked? <laughs> <laughs> um, may give item additional one use function. Um, I will say you have you the the issue is that you isn't that you don't know how to make this. You know how to make it. You just simply run out of materials that are necessary in order That's to fair. make this work. Um, however, you do, yeah, so uh, I think now we can, we can, I think we're at the point now where we can reveal what this is. If no, no, like no, to no, look we it can't. Up. Oh, no, 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 okay, for sure, for sure, we will not. Okay. I hit the intercom button. Cam? Yo. Can you, can you come to the, uh, to, to my shop, please? On my way. Kybax tries to do one sit-up and decides that that's not for him today. <laughs> On her desk, you see what appears to be a one-handed, three-chambered grenade launcher. When you um, when you go out um to sell all our stores and stuff, can you get me this list of parts? You see sure. several things on the list that are not... They are very far from being related to each other. Like, you will need to go to several different stores. I gather and, this does not surprise Cam in the slightest. No, and they're all, like, household implements. They're not, like, specialty items. <laughs> hey, I have like... a question real quick. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. What the fuck? Uh, you, you... Okay, Remember... correction. What are these purple squares? Oh, Out pardon. of character. Oh, oh. okay. <laughs> oh, I... I, I'm sorry. 
<laughs> I, I, Kyle drew them. They were just boxes. Okay. It's not a. It's not a. Um. It's not a art that you would find in a women's institute. It's. It's just the boxes for the car. Now back in character. Sorry. What the fuck? Oh um. Remember um. Like uh. When we were when we were going from. When we were going to foremost, I said I would get my revenge on Kyvax. Yeah. This is it. You're making a gun. Sure. To make. Kybax angry. Yep. She looks very pleased with herself. You've got to explain this one to me. Because... The... So, um, um, so... So you see this chamber here? It's actually high-pressured grease. And this chamber here is going to be an acid, and this chamber here is going to be a, a, a spray adhesive. So, basically, it's a gun that doesn't hurt people in any way. It just it, it lets me slow them down or make them fall or um yeah, so um or dissolve it, them. Okay, okay, the acid's more for work. <laughs> Look, I, I needed I had a th I had three chambers. I needed a third thing. <laughs> what Lina so, doesn't realize is that he is a bounty hunter who prides himself on bringing in his targets alive. This is great. <laughs> so um yeah, so it's a it's a, it's a short range um, crowd control actually. Um, yeah. Lina, that's call, pretty brilliant. And I, and I call it the Care, the, the Kybex care? approved restricting ext extruder. Lina, hmm? I love you. Oh, she hugs you. Cam hugs back and winces. Uh, Cam? I'm fine. Hugs tighter. Ow, 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 ow. God damn it, Med Bay now! A bruise! The vest caught the worst of it! Med Bay now! Oh, bitch. I'm I can't shoot now. this thing, but I can throw it at you! That's its one use. Hi, <laughs> <Hey>, sorry. Hi, <sighs> uh, <Hey>, sorry. <laughs> when Lina walks by, uh, she might notice that Sorry has just a bit of a smirk, but doesn't say anything. Does it hurt here? No. You know, at present, th those ribs are not broken. I would like to keep them that way. Well, so would I. Didn't make right. to them so hard. All right, all right. All right. that's what we're doing. Let's shirt up. Uh, Tam, I, so I, this I, will. <laughs> Throw a sheet over, Tam. <laughs> Uh, this is going to be a difficulty one medicine check. Current wounds equal half or less of wound threshold. Now get out of my med bay. <laughs> that about does it. Uh, yeah, that's that's a full wipe, huh? Yes, it is. Uh, See, you feel immediately better. <laughs> thank you, Lina. You're all going to be the death of me. Please don't say things like that. Not after the week we've had. She sits down on the bed next to Tam before realizing what she's done. Tam, you wake up. Uh, can, I make a, can I make a forced move check here? Uh, yeah. I just, what? I just want to push Lina down gently towards Tam. Oh. Um, uh, yeah, all right. I'm into it. Uh, yeah, go ahead and make a yeah. roll your two dime. <laughs> uh, all right. <laughs> she harnessed the power of the dark side. 
All right. Um, if you want to stay late, uh, you have two. If you would like to take strength. Yeah, no, I'm and... just going to use the two light. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm just going to, like, just ever so gently just kind of push Lina down so that, like, her lips and hams get oh, God. <laughs> close. I'm sitting. <laughs> <laughs> you feel like your legs get pulled up from underneath you. and <laughs> yeah. You... yeah. <laughs> Not painfully, just just True enough to be like. Now kiss. <laughs> yeah, she's not gonna make them kiss. She's just gonna like gently, gently <laughs> like. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. Lina will. This happens. Throw herself off of that thing <laughs> as fast as possible. Make a uh, make an athletics check. Um, oh. I'll say difficulty one, but I'm gonna upgrade. I'm gonna spend to upgrade. There is no escape. <laughs> you uh, <laughs> uh, you fall to the ground, um, hard. <laughs> oh, uh, I'll catch her if if that's happening. Oh yeah. You fall and you feel yourself. Um, uh, honestly, if, as a re as a retcon, a little bit, you can dedicate one of your. I'll say that you can dedicate that f that force die that had rolled the dark side point as a persistent effect, so you're able to sort of hold her up too. I mean, it only took one. Oh, to, one oh yeah, time to... for sure. Yeah, yeah I, I'll that other light side point. Yeah, Whoa, you yeah. feel yourself sort of hover over the ground. Okay. Um, sorry, 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 sorry. Put me down. Let's line up what? down, like <laughs> right in front of of uh, of Tam again. Tam okay. goes, "What the bloody hell is going on?" Um, uh, you, 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 you're doing better. Sorry, sorry. Can you uh, can you make sure he gets a meal? I'm gonna, I'm, I, I've got to, I gotta go. Um. Uh, I, it's been like uh, six days since I've uh, yet. Yeah. Uh, she knocks on Kaibax's door. You're uh, you're 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 free to go. <laughs> Get to change your clothes and it's been like uh, six days. <laughs> and <go> shower. <laughs> All right. Sorry, he just kind of wanders in and smirk. <laughs> Looks like she was trying to kiss you. She winks at him and then just kind of meanders out. What did I miss? And with that, oh. we'll, we'll cut forward to uh, the next day. Um, that I am going to take uh, like a five minute break here. I'm just, I just need to run to the bathroom. Um, for sure. I will return. Lola. Uh. So I don't suppose now would be a good time to ask about the, uh, the paired weapons. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, right now, let's see. Tam's on the mend. I don't have parts for J9's body yet. The care is currently on pause. I can't do anything about the concussion launcher until we're in space dock. So yeah, <laughs> now would be a good time. <laughs> but I am going to ask about that. Huh, Lola. My doggo keeps trying to eat my shoelaces. Hey, big girl, why are you so silly? Oh, Jack, uh, Noel uh -huh. wanted to, um... Is that your, uh, sister? Yes, wanted to sit with you at and me at some point and help, like, get her character down, because she doesn't really understand, uh, the character creation system. Okay, yeah, cool. Okay. Uh, just, well, we're on a little bit of a hiatus here, um, or I guess they're called breaks. Uh, everyone take 500 credits. I'm just going through the coffers and... Okay. 
Basically, you're uh, you're paid for the job. <laughs> Individual. Awesome. Credits. Uh, you can tell Noel that I will be available tomorrow evening. Okay. Will do. I'm at 1,017 credits, and 250 of them are about to go to... The Nether. Those disruptor pistols, because... Holy <laughs> shit. No. Oh, they're good for the Nether. Because you are nothing if not persistent. Yes. Lola? Yes? Very funny. Yes. Lola! Play? Yeah, it sounds like she just wants attention. And play. Yeah, she do. What? Pretty much every moment I haven't been talking, I've been muted and playing fetch with my doggo. So why for, Popper, are you eating my shoelaces? Because she continues to want attention, obviously. <laughs> yeah, she's just a brat. She's just a brat. No idea how she would ever end up that way. Not a clue. Yeah, it's not at all like you are just extremely, extremely uh, dog-favored. No, not even a little bit. No. Hmm. <sighs> He is a sweet bean, though. That's a sweet bean. Um, Tristan. Yes. Have you played BG3? Yes, I've I've beaten it like ten times at this point. What's the question? Uh, I did some absolutely very stupid amounts of uh, damage, and uh, I just wanted to share with the class because uh, how'd you do? Uh, so my tab is a, uh, ranger, um, a, uh, gloomstalker ranger and assassin rogue, uh -huh. and, uh, she hit, um, she hit a hook horror for, uh, Oh well, yeah, that's twenty five HP and it died in, in before it, it got to go, before anybody else went. <laughs> uh, oh. So uh, at level nine she has five levels in Ranger for extra attack. She's got um the dread ambush, which is just an extra free attack. Um plus obviously she has sneak attack. Um but the way Assassin works is if you're stealthed out of combat and you get a, uh, like, shoot, get a sneak attack, it automatically crits because Assassin. And then your turn in combat starts, but you technically still have your second attack from that action. So make that attack because of extra attack. Make the Dread Ambush attack, which is a free extra attack. And then I have my normal attack and the extra attack. And I have Sharpshooter, so uh, I'm doing plus 10 damage 
on all of them uh, with a plus two longbow and I, uh, gloves of I archery. Truly, yeah. Truly love when a power gamer can just go all out. See, it's my favorite thing. I knew you would enjoy it because you are a power gamer. Mm. So I was like, ah, yes. I know somebody who would appreciate my bullshittery because <laughs> you are of like mind in that aspect. So, yeah. It was, <laughs> it was very fun. All righty then. <clears throat> so, back into the action. And by action, I mean um, continuing our very lovely session. A nice social game. Hey, nothing's bad. It's gonna happen. Um, Alright, we're all dead. The answer uh, is gonna happen. We're anyway, dead. roll for Star Weird. Hey, Lana, before you... Oh, yeah. God, I missed her. Uh, here, can I talk to you in your, uh, in your, uh, workshop? Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, uh, tiebacks, it might not be a good idea. Oh, oh, sorry, I'll shut up. You see the, the, the yeah stuff everywhere. She quickly throws a sheet over the project she was working on on this bench. All right. Anyway, uh, he takes out the two disruptor pistols that he has picked up and says, "Is there any way you could balance these for me?" Yeah, uh, yeah. I've, I might need to get some parts when we land, but I should be able to. Just, uh, just leave them here. All right. You doing Do all right, I, Lana? Uh, yeah, I'm just um busy. Um, all, all right, always well, busy. Let me know if I can do anything for you, okay? Yeah. Uh, can GM considering what pairing a weapon is, am mm -hmm. I able to use? I'm pretty much just changing parts and moving shit around. Can I use some yeah. of the parts I have on hand? Uh, <clears throat> I would say yeah. So. The um, I would say if you you so the cost for dual, three hundred. Um, it's three hundred. So if you use two of your computer and tech parts, yeah, um, okay. that would be yeah. I would allow that. Um, cost me an extra all right. credits worth of stuff because I'm kind of makeshifting it. Yeah, hundred percent. That's fair. Uh, uh, in terms of excuse me. Oh goodness. Um. So, <clears throat> with that, um, select one uninstalled modification option. So the so the credits is you being able, sort of creating this attachment. Um, okay, go ahead and so yeah, this is installing a mod. So this is going to be a difficulty three mechanics check. Uh. Um. Installing a mod is free. It's the attach. It, sorry, the attachment is free. Any additional mods are the ones that require checks. Okay. okay uh, so yeah. the paired. So the paired weapon, paired weapons thing. It says it's a modification. Yeah, they're all called right. mods, but there's a difference between an attachment and a mod. So if you look down on that, it says mod options none. So the mod options come with roles. The attachment okay. is finding the thing out in the world. Now, because I am makeshifting this. I have no issue doing a roll, but just want okay. To yeah, probably won't be a difficulty three though. Um, I will, I will say, um, I'll make it difficulty one <clears throat> with a setback being that you're using computer and tech components to mod a weapon. Um, you're not really using like the circuitry part of it, but you're using sort of the casings, the external sort of um, shielding on some of the circuitry. Um, some extra metal from m motherboards that you're able to scrap up. And also, having a paired weapon also means taking away from one of the disruptors. Well, from a disruptor to get them sort of in the same weight. Um, yeah, so it'll be difficulty one with a setback die. I remove setback on mechanics checks. Yep. Ow. Oh my god. Uh, I'm going to ask you to re-roll that because you upgraded um, 
a difficulty to a complicate a difficulty to a challenge. Yeah. Um, yeah. So just just one standard difficulty, a purple, not a red. Yeah, it was one. You're you're, you're looking at my athletics. Right? Oh, I'm looking at your athletics. I still oh, failed. I'm sorry, <laughs> but <laughs> right. Yeah, All right. Lord. Um, no despairs were rolled. Um, and but... two advantages were rolled. I don't know um, if that means it. You... Hopefully that just means I didn't break the pistol. Yeah, so the so the pistols are still fine. They're, those, are, those are okay. However, you wasted those components on a, on a on a attachment that is not functional. Okay. Um, you sort of put it together, you're, you're like, ah, fuck. Um, you realize that just using the computer components, um, and honestly, is there a setback on there? Oh, you remove setback. I'm sorry. Yeah, I removed um, setbacks. Sorry. Um, just trying to rub it in a little bit. Uh, she, just, <laughs> she just opens a drawer and just slides both of them in. That's a tomorrow problem. <laughs> yep. Um, all right. I'm just making sure that I'm doing this right. So you can purchase attachments that cut yeah, customize if, their gear. You, attachments are. If you go to page fifteen of my references, I have a very comprehensive thing on it. Thank you. Boop. Find the attachment in the world and buy. It. Okay, so this is me allowing you to sort of make an attachment. Oh, yeah, okay. Instead of I buying. see. Yeah. I'm over here. Thank you. Um. Okay. Great. So that actually really helps because the this section is very very long. And I don't yeah, it took me it. a long time to comprehend all of the writing. Yeah. Um, uh, now I do reduce mod costs. So the paired mod weapon doesn't. Costs. Paired weapons don't have a mod, but other things do. And with that yep. mod comes a cost, and I reduce it by fifty percent. Yeah. So it's if, from what I see, the mod option in order to install the mod, it costs a hundred credits instead. It costs you fifty credits. Oh. And then All the right, second yeah, one so... costs another 100, but again, just 50. So. Gotcha, gotcha. So it only costs 150 worth of components? No. So that's for that. She, so I was sort of home ruling that a little bit. Um, so she had parts that she could sort of makeshift an attachment. The, because uh, the, the paired weapons is an attachment. Um, we're talking about mods to attachments, which are. Language is a little confusing, but uh, mods, if you're adding a mod to an attachment, and maybe we can pull up an example to just show, um, that has a, that has a flat cost that she has. Yeah, okay. So, oh, example, yeah. you have a blaster. It can have an attachment or forearm grip. The blaster costs you 150 credits. The forearm grip costs you 250 credits. Now, you can modify the forearm grip in two different ways. You can give it plus one accurate and plus one innate point blank. That modification costs 100 and 200, sorry, 100 credits each on top of. Those actually come with checks. Just installing it doesn't, add it, modifying it does. Modifications, if done by Lina, are cheaper. Gotcha. Yep. Perfect. My entire class is built around it. And then I became, <laughs> and so then I became a them. medic. <laughs> Just just playing full support bot. Um, all right, so we're gonna go ahead and move to the splash page. Actually, no, we're not going to. I lied. Um, at the beginning of the day, uh, w, w sort of <laughs> W um intercoms everyone, and you guys all see it at a display that you're near. Um, we are coming up on to. We're about an hour away from Slahera, and we should probably decide where we're going to land. All right, I'm and... heading up to the cockpit. Slaheron's primary port should be relatively close to Mabas, I believe. Yes. Um, you know, I wrote out uh, and posted the name of the city that you, that Maba is in. Um, uh, Bakura. Huh? Vakura. Vakura! V-A-K. V-A-K. Apostrophe. K-O-R-A. Vakura. V-A-K. Apostrophe. K-O-R-A. Vakura! Yeah! There it is! Um, yeah, so you know that 
the port that you took off from is the uh, is the spaceport of Vakura. Um, that is yeah. So you know, like coming in, you've done this approach several dozen times before. Um, you know that that is where you would normally go. Um, however, I will stipulate to you that um, you know of it that you are that two of at the very least two of your crew members are currently wanted by the Imperials. Um, the Imperials don't have a presence necessarily on uh, Slaheron, but Slaheron's a hut world. They have zero jurisdiction there. Yes, you're you're entirely right. I. And you're right. Things that are learned on Slaheron will never, ever make it off of the planet to the Imperials. That's not something that can happen. <laughs> so, I'm but just saying I, that, yeah. you know... Yeah, I, I get you. you. learn of things that happen here, they ain't gonna be able to do jack shit about it. I mean, right. the Imperials might think they can do stuff there because they're Imperials. Yeah, but the quickest way to get the Huts to unite as a single uh, force to attack you is to attack the Huts. Uh, so the bounties don't necessarily need to be taken by Imperials. Fire. Yeah. It's just, it's so, um, as you're sort of approaching, do you just, um, uh, are you just taking, are you landing at Fakora? Or yeah. are you landing somewhere else? Is we are my, landing is... at Fakora. landing at Fakora. Okay. Um, fantastic. You all sort of get into your main landing positions. Um, the air, the air traffic control, sort of space sector control on Slaheron sort of says, "Welcome back, Stormrunner." And uh, sort of gives you your vector, which you already knew, and you come in to land. You land in the spaceport of Akura. Um, you are in the middle of a city. Um, not in the middle, but sort of, you know, this station is in the city itself. Um, as you sort of careen on through the sky towards your landing vector, you sort of notice the uh, the larger cities of Slaheron, the main capital cities... Um, sort of far off in the distance. Vakura is sort of one of these outlying settlements, cities that are still big, tall skyscrapers, still a modern Star Wars sort of metropolitan area. Um, but definitely less opulent than the large palaces and palace grounds that are sort of surrounding the main areas of Slaheron. You take your... You, you sort of... Um, maneuver the storm runner down. You land. Um, uh, somebody messages out from Vakora uh, from the spaceport staff and says, "Storm runner, glad to see you back. Will you be requiring any assistance with cargo movement?" I believe we will be requiring a grav sled. We will I just have pulled that word out of my. I just pulled that word out of my ass. I don't think that's like what they're actually called. Actually, it is. I oh, believe that's God. legit what they're actually actually called. Yeah. Um, Yay! Good job. Uh, you said, "Yep, grab sled coming up." Um, let us know if we can be any further assistance. Any? Uh, make, make that two grab sleds. We're gonna need two. Uh, make that two grab sleds control. Anything for associates of maybe the hut, and the comms cut off. Um, Gam just leans back in her chair and stares out the cockpit. Yeah, um, you see. If you uh, this feel any better, as far as huts go, you could definitely do worse. It doesn't. The. Spaceport is bustling. Um, let's change the ambiance here. 
Honestly, the way they said that makes me slightly concerned. Uncomfortable? You see you see aliens of almost every species sort of taking and flogging their wares at the at the you see several dozen ship docked sort of alongside you. This is it, it's just simply night and day from your experience on Foremost, tiny little spaceport. This is a huge shopping area. Um, you see logistics logistics personnel, uh, sort of sh very shabby looking still, but still doing their jobs. Um, you see two workers each carry each piloting a, a grav sled. Um, moving the, their way towards the loading bay. Um, and you see that they just sort of leave them there and they bustle and continue on with their next task. The air uh, that sort of comes in as you sit down and check down the engines, the stink of the city, the city that you're used to here on Slaheron, um, definitely not a pleasant scent for those who are uninitiated, but smells like home. Now, as you are sheltered by the anonymity of simply just being in a field of people all sort of compressed together into this one geographic area, crew of the Stormrunner, I ask you, what do you do? Uh, so one... Abex is going to start loading up the uh, two crates of food stuff. Mm. Cam right. is going to provide... Sorry, correction. <laughs> Lina is going to provide Cam with uh, lists. Lists of parts she needs for various jobs. Uh, list of cargo she's to offset, offload. All right, well, our first stop is going to be made with the hut, I think. Yeah, 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 oh, yeah, of course. So um some some of these might be worth taking to Mapa. And she hands bring you, in the She hands you the list that is clearly the fake names for the drugs. <laughs> Maybe right. bring these with the foodstuffs. Um, yeah, uh, I'm, I'm gonna stay here with Tam and maybe maybe trade the foodstuffs for Tam's debt. I, I don't know. Anyways, I'm gonna I I have to stay here. So um I'm gonna get to work on the the, the concussion launcher while you're gone. If you get me all of this, and she gives you the list. That'd be great. <laughs> I'll do what I can. Sorry, just kind of wanders by. Yeah, working on Tam's stuff, huh? But, but yeah, he's well, he's injured. What, what what else would I work on if I'm not? No. <laughs> oh. Gonna have a coronary. Um. Okay. So, who is all going to Mabas? Well, it's Cam, Kybax, any of the other three. Well, any of the other two. We know Linus not. Uh, Cam definitely isn't. Yeah, I think Tam is still down. Oh, come on, we got grab, we grab sleds, we can slap him on one, it'll be fine. <laughs> uh, would Sari like to come? Yes. Alright. We head over to Mavis Palace. I'm going to cut to the splash page for a moment. As you begin making your way through the spaceport, which is sort of a labyrinthian series of corridors, um, large docking bays, small docking bays. You see everything from snub fighters to the largest sort of freighters that are very barely able to be in atmosphere at all. Um, you see just truly every matter of person. Um, as you exit the spaceport, you see, um, going through these sort of curved alleyways, you see and smell, um, 
several different classes of people walking down the or sitting in the alleyways at the same time. You see abject poverty. You see refugees begging for food. You see um, sort of opulent dressed business people uh, making their way to the inner part of the city. You see factory and ship workers sort of bustling their way by you. As you continue moving, uh, you get into the warehouse district. Um, the warehouse district is where Mavis Palace is, Mavis Hideout, rather, is. Um, I'm going to go ahead and move you over. Give me just one moment, everybody. On Is there anything that we want to do on our way to Mavis Palace? There's a decent amount of city between where you are and where Mavis area is. Yes. Yes. I would like to put Cam's super special secret ability to use. Okay. Uh, <laughs> one moment. You people and all your secret nonsense. This is a great secret. Secret. <laughs> secret tunnel. Secret, secret. You've Did got you forget a secret? what the secret is? <laughs> um, I, um... Why why don't you tell me? Yeah, what do you do? Sorry. Cam's instinctual ability to effortlessly, effortlessly find the best street food vendors and small restaurants at any given starport she arrives at. Yes, that one that I definitely knew about before you told me. Go ahead. Yeah, so instinctually, you turn down... You know, you stay away from the main bazaars that are right outside of the spaceport. That stuff, it's overpriced. The vendors genuinely don't know what they're doing. A lot of them are there because they were able to fight and claw their way to get the best real estate. You see several of them th try handing you, like, samples. Uh, just a bunch of various different meats and organs on meat, on spits. You turn off the beaten path... And there is, as you as you round a corner, the the voices sort of die down a little bit. You kind of go into sort of a seedier residential area. Lots of people just sort of standing huddled in hushed conversations. Um, and you see, as you round the corner, you see stairs that are going down to like a like a basement, like exposed basement stairs that are going down into. Um, the basement of what looks to be like a residential dwelling. Doors open, and all of you, you all smell just the deepest, richest spice that, not not drug spice, food spice uh, that you've smelled. Um, you know all about this. Um... Uh, can we smell what the rock is cooking? Yes. Um, you see... Uh, <laughs> these names all suck. Give me one second. Cameron is intergalactic toucan, Sam. <laughs> uh, Alright. You see uh, a very like dim neon sign that just says diner. Um, the, you, the eye is like broken, but you, it's like an undercased eye. So you see the eye, just the dot of the eye is there. So it's dinner. Um, you walk in, uh, you see a four handed sort of, um, insectoid species screech at you loudly, uh, Cam. <laughs> And she sort of looks at you, holding two pans. <laughs> what did she say? She screeched. Come on, Cam. We're, come on, Jack. Work Cam with the improv. Looks at this, this insect dead in the eyes, slams down uh, 20 credits and goes, two house specials, please. No, we've got three people with us. Three house specials. She puts down 30. See, uh, 
a fifth arm that you never saw until it raised up above the counter, grabs the credits. Um, you see she turns around, slams the pots down with these sort of forked insectoid fingers. You see a big, like, a boiling pot full of, let's, uh, full of, like, inky, like, green and dark liquid um, with weird chunks in it. She slams three bowls down in front of you and ladles out this um, this very inky black with green flecks stew, and she she uh, she holds up a seasoning shaker that's all like crusty and old, and she she looks at you, Cam, with like a questioning eye. Who shakes? She yeah, she shakes twice on each one, and like this, this prismatic dust goes right across the top of each one. Um, Have we seen that kind of prismatic dust before? No. Okay. Dinner is served. Doses all of our meals with glitter stem. <laughs> Sorry takes like one look at this. She blinks for a second. Then she just sits down and dives right in. Like, and does Cam is, just but... all in on it. I don't know what this is, but it's it's got to be amazing. This is... it's Think of chicken tikka masala with just, like, so much... It's like chicken tikka masala that's been stewed for a year. Just every every flavor is the fundamental, like, platonic ideal of the flavor. It's the purest. Aristotle would be like frying with, with joy. Yeah. The chunks of meat are per- stewed perfectly. You don't... Cam, to this day, you don't know what the meat is. You know that it is a meat. You have no idea what it is. You truly, like, the you stumbling onto this area, you were running from someone, and this person squ- <laughs> this insectoid screeched at you put down a bunch of bowls of stuff and you and this was your favorite uh kybax does eat his and asks for two to go um she <laughs> she, she goes she goes and hits the hits her ladle um against a big sort of cast iron pot the ladle bends and breaks. She throws it out a already broken window. She reaches down, grabs another ladle from a box of metal ladles, and <laughs> makes two to go, like, uh, styrofoam, like, calf uh, cups filled of this stuff. And puts it, and puts that, puts them in a little, uh, uh to-go bag that says, thanks. Thanks. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Argo's gonna love this. I don't know how Tam will like it, but Lina's is always a fan. All right. Oh, uh, right. I'm I'm trolling you. <laughs> <laughs> we both know Lina doesn't like spicy things. <laughs> is Lina basically like the equivalent of the Brits? Just cannot handle anything. She well, can handle she... a normal humanoid amount of spice, not whatever the she... fuck Cam and Alan did. <laughs> uh... Well, Cam you... and Alan handled Mandalorian levels of spice, which is a different beast. Um, you finish your bowls. Um, y- the <laughs> the insectoid lady, and she is a lady. She's wearing um. Uh, she has a full uh, thorax, like big ass, multiple insectoid legs, tall sort of centaur-like um, upper body with like a full humanoid chest, but an insectoid face with pincers. Um, she's wearing a very old style diner waiter uniform that that is looks like it's been altered to cover over the big ass of a thorax. And she looks at you, looks down at your bowls, and looks back up to you and screeches again. Cam will nod in appreciation. She 
<laughs> she puts her, she throws another ladle uh, <laughs> out the window, and she, her all all eight of her arms raise. Three arms come out of nowhere. You have no idea where they are. She her head her head looks up. She screeches several guttural tones up into the ceiling, and then she looks down at you and says, "Well, hon, you have a good day." And she goes right around the corner. Perfect. That's so perfect. How the hell do you find these places? The gift. <laughs> right. Gift. I mean, I ain't gonna question it. Oh, uh, alright. You head back to me. Oh. We're, now we're going over to um, Mabus with our. Okay. <laughs> Valleys. God, that was such fun. That was so fun. Okay, let's keep going. <laughs> uh, uh, all right. Next is, on, what the is fuck? Tam able to walk at all, or um, I don't think he is. But Tam, you're now able to move your legs, but the movement hurts. Like it, it very much is like. Oh, there's definitely a, like broken. Um, torn ligaments. Your Achilles, both your Achilles tendons were cut. Fucked up stuff. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, I was, I was thinking I might want to join these guys if they're going to go to Mabas, but mm-hmm. I don't want to be in front of Maba with a, uh, with all that wounds and stuff. So I'm going to stay back on the ship and sleep. Yeah, because it, because um, really, like with your, excuse me, with your wound track, it's it's you're still technically incapacitated i'm just i'm just i don't feel good incapacitating you for an entire it's, session it's appreciated uh, <laughs> well, i'm having fun listening so don't worry good. about it you're not keeping uh, me out more about the uh oh yeah that's a good idea uh the you, you see w um you see w roll roll into the room with a uh with a rolly chair um, sort of reclines the rolly chair over and sort of whistles at you. Uh, doo, doo. Hey, Tam. Is that a robot flirting with you? Anyway, uh, well, at, at, to Mabus Palace. Um, you all walk in, you head up a bunch of flights of stairs um, to get to the highest level of this abandoned warehouse. The warehouse district in general, uh, before y'all got had sort of dealings with Maba, you had just been told to not go there. Um, a lot of seedier types use these warehouses as sort of their hideouts. Um, a lot of stolen stuff gets hidden there. Um, as you walk up the stairs, you hear... Um, more clubby sounded sounding music. Specifically, uh, this track. Thank you so much, Kevin McLeod, for your constant beautiful music. Uh, this track is just called "Just Nasty." Oh yeah, play um, that nasty jizz. Yep. Yeah, thank you. I'm gonna need you to uh, never say those words in that order ever again. <laughs> just nasty. <laughs> Uh, you see the guard, <laughs> a guard, um, a Gamorian guard is standing there, standing to watch, uh, looks at you, Kybax, and, and snorts. Uh, in Gamorian, I reply back, we're here to see Maba. Do you speak Gamorian? I'm a bounty hunter who's lived for 40-something years in the Star Wars universe. I better speak Gamorian. <laughs> you don't speak Gamorian. <laughs> <laughs> it literally You're... makes no sense for me not to. Uh, you, it's whatever. You, <laughs> you don't speak Uh what? You, the the guard sort of nods at you, obviously recognizes you, and opens the door. Um, you all have vision. vision on this token, right? Oh no, no, you don't have vision. Give me one second. What? Oh, why is that not ever save? There you go. Hey, I have no pitch back. I, I no, can uh, see like a little bit right here. Didn't... 
You didn't add the universal light to fill out all the other Ah, rooms. fuck. Shit, fuck, fuck, shit, fuck. Give me one second. Yeah. Oh god, what did you do? <sighs> yeah, you, you still have to leave global illumination, illumination on just super low. <laughs> okay, um... I'm resetting the fog of war. Which is where? Lighting. Core. There I'm we go! Boba Fett can speak Tusken Raider. I can speak Gamorrean. The door opens. Uh, you find yourself in um, Maba's club. Um, this is a fan... God, it's such, just such a good map. Uh, I'm gonna oh, see... She's... We're pushing our um, grab cart in with us. Okay. Well, I'm just, uh, I gotta sneeze. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. Thank you. So you see several um, several patrons at the bar. It's getting closer to not. It's not their peak time yet, but definitely um, getting darker outside. It's normally pretty dark in this area of the city. Just just because of how the 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 sun covers up, whatever. Um, you see what exactly is on the the grab lift, the grab cart, whatever. Uh, the two food crates that are holding Bandendoba and his lieutenant. Okay. And uh, but where where's the spice? Uh, on top of the food crates. Okay. And boxes marked not spice. <laughs> Clearly not spice. Do not steal. There, there is uh we did put like a cloth or something over the obvious black sun sun symbol. Mhm. Oh, we sh yeah. we should have just like put a tarp over the whole thing. You know what? Yeah, that's what we did. <laughs> yeah. Tarp. <laughs> All right. Tarp is fantastic. Sense. We love tarp. Don't worry, my dad is smiling at me. Right. Um, for whatever reason, the tokens are broken, but I know exactly the reason because I messed up. Give me one. Give me one moment, everybody. Um, some of these tokens are scary. Like, yeah. what? What's this guy's deal? That guy's deal is there's 900 tokens, and I set it up so he can pull them out randomly. So if he pulls out mail, it will randomize about 600 tokens. And guess what? We got a fat Twi'lek. Fuck off. <laughs> and some of these tokens are just cute as hell. That's Maba. I made that one. Is that a Twi'lek? Is that a Twi'lek? I don't I think so. I didn't realize that's what that was. No, it's not. Are you sure? It, it actually does yeah, kind of look be. like a... A very now you say it, it does look like a Twi'lek, but it, it's like his Leku are like flat. Oh, okay. yeah. That's a senator. That's Orn Free Top. <laughs> oh, yeah. There's a non zero oh, chance that Leia might show up every now and then. I didn't catch her. <laughs> okay, so all the tokens are broken, but uh, Bandon and, yeah, Bandon and the Lieutenant. I don't actually think he even got his name. Don't think. Uh, um, yes, we did. I think we got his name. What's his name? Uh, he is Mate Segrin. His descriptor is not worth anything to anyone. Gotcha. <laughs> yep. Not worth so, it. Yeah. yeah, that that tracks. <laughs> Mate Segrin. That that's his name. I wrote that down somewhere. Um, I did. <laughs> Oh, at least someone does. All right, so you bring in this. Uh, I'm assuming it's a covered cart. Um, up mm -hmm. through, you see Maba is sort of, and of course the music didn't fucking loop. Um, thank you, Just Nasty. Um, you all sort of make your way down. You see that the private room doors are all shut to your right. Um. As you all sort of come in with a cart, you see that the dancers who are on the dance floor sort of make their way away. Um, they sort of know that um, business, business is about to... It, yeah, yeah, exactly. 
Um, you see these guys sort of move their way over to the bar. And the music lowers in volume. The, the dance lights are still on and the dancing, the Twi'lek dancers up here are dancing very, very well. Um, Mabel looks um, distracted. She is currently devouring a living animal. Um, and she goes... Mm -hmm. Yes. I, I was just going to say, as, as we set up, um, I let Cam stand to the front, and I just take the tarp off the cart and start loading down the spice boxes. Okay. By loading down, what do you mean? Like unloading? Like taking them off the top of the cart and putting them on the ground. Okay. Um, Mabel looks over and says, Yes. <laughs> I expected you to be dead. I am happy to be, for once, wrong, my bounty under friend. We seem to be slightly light on the crew, people. I hope everybody's okay. I've actually just looks at her, and it's a second before he responds. And then he goes, we experienced some injuries. And as he gets the last crate loaded down... He opens up Bandon Doba's pod first, and the first mate's pod second. Um, as soon as you open the less four pods, they smell like several days' worth of excrement. Uh, we yeah. checked on <laughs> you, Okay, so you're telling me that every eight hours or so, you checked for shit? I don't think you did. It's a PG-13 campaign. <laughs> Amazing! <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's a PG-13 campaign. Yeah, that's gonna go assumed. You lock somebody into a crate for almost, like, several days. Um, you fed them and watered them. Yes, you did, and what happens when you feed and water people? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, we forgot to clean our Tamagotchis. <laughs> the, um... Yeah, everybody goes, oh my god! It's... Uh, uh, um, uh, it, to be clear, it does smell like a hut in here, so... Who just right. devoured a live animal, so, you know. Right. <laughs> Maybe farts, as you, as you think best. Um, the... <laughs> uh, Maybe the hut looks down. Well... <laughs> I know who this is. I don't know who that is. Who is that? Uh, that's his first mate. You know, two for one special. I am... Um, I have business with Bandon. I don't have business with this one. So I let him go? Well. You see that uh, one of the guards start stepping forward uh, with an axe out. Uh, it, Kybax kind of looks at Cam like, your call. Seems to me like killing a competent spacer might be a bit of a waste of resources. Make the case for me. He doesn't seem to be very talkative. You see that the the Mate, uh, mate, Mr. Seagram, uh, Mate Seagram, that's his name. Uh, he is, he's sort of on his knees. His head is down. You see his his skin is sort of pale. He, his head is down. <laughs> right, well, well, he worked he for Bandon Doba, and you know who Bandon Doba worked for, and he performed his job pretty competently. Gave us no small amount of trouble. If nothing else, he's a competent ship crew hand, and you can never have too many of those. He held me off for a total of 30 seconds, which isn't bad. Mmm. Okay. Uh, yeah. Cam. Go ahead and give me a charm. You're so... Yeah, you're trying to make the case, the intellectual case for keeping him alive. Go 
ahead and give me charm roll. I'll say difficulty of two. All right. Away or we apathy. go. <laughs> All right. Well, I think that's a good case. God, put a collar on this one and teach him how we do things. What? What? No, just just kill me, please! No! And you see the guard uh, punches him out. <gasps> out cold. Um, puts a uh, puts a uh, what is called a slave collar on his neck. Uh, picks him up by the collar, tucks him over the guard, tucks him over his shoulder. And you see him take him back. Sort of barges by the dancers. Well, he's alive. So, you know, I'd say overall net success. Yay, we only witnessed enslavement instead of a public execution. Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> You're so negative all the time. Yeah, I see Mabus said that. I mean... You know, it's... it's Sometimes it's tough work, and you just need to unwind. My guards have been so bored lately. You see the, the, the guard that's remaining, standing to the right of Maba scratches his crotch. Right. Uh... So... Abandon. He's been rather a naughty boy, I hear. He was my eyes and ears into, frankly, a very dangerous organization, and he seems to have had second thoughts about staying unimportant. About that. He'd... Yes! Oh, I believe I have payment to give. Um, you see that uh, this door opens and a... Is, can you guys see the names? No, they're only for you. No. They're only for me. Okay, good. I'm glad that you can't see the name. <laughs> uh, you see a bearded human sort of with a scar over one of his eyes comes over Puts down a a small uh, folder, um, uh, what what is a cred slip case, and puts it on the ground, and then kicks it over to you, Cam. Uh, Cam, you know, stops it by putting a foot on it, mm-hmm. and she's gonna. That. Pick it up, hand it to Kybex. I open it up. Is the uh, folder of information that I'm looking for in there? <laughs> so, first thing that you see is a cred slip. Um, the cred slip is for 10,000 credits for your turning in your bounty. So please add that to your inventory. Will do. The second is a small data pa- is a small piece of paper. You see on the piece of paper is the symbol for the black sun. And on it is a name. A name that you have seen before. Maruf Duel. Let me uh, remind myself what that name is. Uh, I remember. Maruf Duel is administrator. The Imperial that put out the bounty on him. Ibex regards that for a second. Are you sure? 
He is a very well-known collector. He also is, frankly, a little shit. And I know for a fact that he was very close with some of the regiments from the assault on Mandalore. Well, that covers the original agreement. Yes. However, there is the small matter that you did not tell me what I was walking into. Oh, yes. Okay. So I've done this a couple of times. Forgive me. It's my it's my first time sort of running, you know, and living. Um, but also running my own sort of syndicate, as mm, some people would call it. Frankly, I just have a very good taste for this hookah. And she she puffs on a on a pink and like prismarine colored hookah. This is where, because I didn't tell you the full story, this is where you extort, right? Not at all. The end of my contract is fees for unforeseen circumstances that you knew about. Hmm. Uh, Cam will sort of step up. Mm -hmm. The crew of the Stormrunner was hired for a snatch and grab. Now that snatch and grab ended up being tracking a member of the Black Suns and his uh, posse, getting ambushed by them, tracking where they came from, taking down his base, taking him prisoner. And that's a little above and beyond what we were hired to do. Now, I understand that, you know, someone of your means, you expect us to get the job done. As we did. But, you know, someone who doesn't understand the circumstances, here's how much we were paid for such an egregious job, they might get the wrong idea and start talking about how you don't value the help you hire. Hmm. Okay. Cam. How gauche. Very... Interesting wordplay. Um, based on your wordplay, I'm going to provide some interesting feedback. Go ahead. This is going to be a difficulty three roll. Um, I am going to go ahead and add two things to that difficulty three roll. It's going to have a boost die, because truly, just due to the, yeah, you bringing up all the shit that you had to go through uh, in a way that is sincere uh, works in your favor. I'm going to provide you a setback die, because your final thesis uh, that you don't care, that Maba doesn't care about the work she hires. That, the, that the was help. not the final thesis. Right. The final thesis yeah. was that someone might misunderstand the situation and think Maba doesn't. Cam specifically stated we were hired for the job. We did the job. But if someone else overhears how much we were paid for a job of this magnitude, they might get the wrong idea about you. That is a very hot way of looking at it. Hmm. Yeah, because jobs go off the rails all the time, but knowing they will compensate if things go outside the plan, that's just good business. Okay. What what you tell that, Hut? <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's going to be difficult three to get uh, difficulty three charm roll with a boost die. Okay, I will go ahead and spend a light side point to gain a proficiency die. And away we go. Uh, difficulty three, right? Yeah. Yep. Okay. 
Yes! Oh, shit. Woo! <laughs> oh, indeed! Uh, let's see, what can we do with those successes? Those advantages. I know what I want to do with those successes. Mm-hmm. Uh, I would like to roll those into the next discussion about Tam and his debt. I uh, will... I, I was going to say, I, I see here one of the abilities for extra successes is additional successes may be used to extend this target support. For one... Whatever. Yeah. Those successes make will help maybe be more amenable. Maybe looks at you very carefully. And I suppose you have a number in mind. Uh, out of character. Fuck. No, I didn't. Um. <laughs> I do. <laughs> Maruth Duel offered 20,000 credits for Bandon Doba's head. Okay. So maybe an extra 10. Yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, Alright, Cam will kind of yeah, shrug and say, well, Maruth Duel had 20,000 on this uh, idiot's head chose to bring him to you instead to honor our deal I'd say least you could do is uh, equal the offer alright uh, this is going to be a negotiation roll um, I'm going to those advantages are going to come into play as a boost die okay for you. technically you could get two by spending those two advantages I will go ahead and spend both advantages to get two boost die. Okay. Um, this is so negotiation is. Oh man, that's another presence roll. Man, you really. It's almost as if you know my stats. Um, I am gonna go ahead. So it's difficulty three. I'm spending a dark side point to upgrade difficulty. Copy that. Uh, Can I provide help and give her my uh, rank in negotiation? Is your... Uh, so whose negotiation is higher, is my question. Mine is, as far as training goes, I have a rank in negotiation, and Cameron does not. But okay. you only have a... You're only throwing two dice, right? Right, so I'm uh, right. offering you assistance right. with my proficiency, not with my presence. Yeah, so so with with trained assistance, since he's trained in it, he can if he can find a way to narratively assist, you get his training in negotiation. So you get to add instead of rolling three greens, you roll a yellow and a green and two greens. Okay. Yeah. Well, yeah. So um, if, you, if you'd like to assist, okay, go ahead and assist. Tyback says, "There's not many huts that can claim the services of a Mandalorian. You do this." You keep me on your good side. Mm, fuck. Yeah, that works. All right. Yeah. Uh, Cam, go ahead and roll with All trained right, assistance. Uh, I will spend a light side point for a, another uh, proficiency die. Okay. Ooh, oh. oh, boy. That was close. Very, very close. <laughs> Uh, but a yeah. success nonetheless. Those boost dies definitely just taking up space, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Literally, you only rolled one success, and that's the, the only reason why that worked is because I you also rolled zero failures. Um. All right. <sighs> the. Hut looks at you. The threat's going to come into play. 
How about this? An additional 7,500 credits. And you throw in, and I'll throw in a sweet in there. That sweetener is another name that's going to be very helpful in getting that stuff, she points to the spice, off your hands. Uh, Cam will give a polite little bow and say, a magnanimous offer I would be delighted to accept. All right, Chad, give him more credits. He goes, oh, yeah. uh, he pulls out a blank credit slip, types, uh, sticks it into an encoder, loads it up, and um, puts it down on the ground with intention of sliding it, but realizing he doesn't have a folder to put it in, uh, just sort of walks over and hands it to you. <laughs> I was going to be cool, and then I realized I'm not. Mm-hmm. <laughs> How very Chad. Yeah. And it is uh, P S C H apostrophe. Oh, God. Chad. Uh, add uh, 7,500 credits, and you also have a name of a black market spice dealer. Ooh, right. Which reduces the check to find such a dealer from three to now you don't have to roll. The unfortunate part being, Maba has just told us she's not interested in the spice. She did, didn't she? Mm hmm. Which removes the leverage we were going to use to ease up Tam's debt. Uh, I will say that she give me a uh, uh, give me a cool check. Um, I'll say difficulty of one. Wow. Yes, what you think is true. She doesn't want the spice. Ooh. Gotta go somewhere else. Yep. Okay. How can I spend those advantages? Um, hmm. I'll allow that to. You're gonna need to. I will allow that to make a role narrative, like a narrative, like uh, negotiate or you know charm role possible uh, with a with increased setback because you don't think it's gonna work. Okay. You could spend three the three of those advantages to gain potentially tide turning information that you notice. Let's do that. Uh, yeah. Um you Kyvax, you look and you recognize the name of this dealer. This dealer is under the employ of Maba. So this is like Maba's drug guy. Right. Because of so, course she wouldn't point us to anyone that she wouldn't make money off of. Yeah. So essentially essentially she's just adding a middleman rather than removing her from contention. She's she's not saying I don't want anything to do with that fucking spice. She's saying, "Oh, I want that spice. I just want my guy to deal with you." And not, and not me personally sitting here. Okay. Um, is that tide turning enough? Sorry. <laughs> yes, it is. About uh, Tam. Right. Hey, how did the little what were we calling him? Cargo specialist. Whatever happened to him? He got shot in both his legs. Yes, I thought that that might happen. He is a jumped up little shit. How about we take that jumped up little shit off your hands? 
Oh, well, there is still the matter of his debt. I, I, I don't believe, even with the credits I just gave you, I don't believe you are that plush. I um, kind of nudge at the three boxes of spice that are the that five, six boxes of spice plus the booster blue that we have. I just kind of nudge it and go, would this make a dent in it? Hmm. Uh, okay. We have about 25,000 worth of glitter stim, 2,000 worth of Ava Bush, and 15,000 yep, worth of Uh, roll a charm. Yes. Um, yeah, I'm going to require an initial charm roll to see if she's even up for the idea of that. And so it's going to be charm, and then it's going to be negotiation. Because this is, in essence, this is you selling spice. This isn't like, oh, give me the spice and he's free. This is you're negotiating a price for the Sims to pay off his would debt. Would it be two checks or would it just be the one check for the negotiation? Because he's already charmed by us. Right? Oh, you're right. <laughs> yeah, because your advantage is that you spent before. Little tips, aren't we? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, you're totally right. Um, What is the... Um, do we, just so I have the right number written down, what is the amount of the debt? Uh, that it, would be for Tam to know. I believe he made that like public information, but well, let me, did. Let me do uh, it. I think it was like 15,000 credits, actually. 12,000. When yep. frauded, Tam spills his debt. 12,000. So I don't offer everything. I offer the glitter stem. Which is 20,000 credits worth of glitter stem. 25. 25,000 credits worth of glitter stem, which yep. means he makes a profit on it. Yeah. So, here it is. It is pure profit because she doesn't have to buy it off us to sell. Yeah. Okay. That maybe reduce the difficulty in this. <laughs> Go ahead and give me a, good, a negotiation. Oh, no. This is a street rise roll. Uh, this is very illegal. Um, street wise. Let's put that. Yes. Uh, do you have two ranks? No. Ah, nuts. Cause I've, already, I've already got one proficiency. I don't think you can... Hmm. Would it double no, like yeah. that? I have a thing no, that re it... removes a setback. I don't know if that could do anything. Yeah, I um, I was going to inflict a setback, guys, so it's up to you guys. Like, who, whoever wants to be the main role, I, I would just need Sorry to sort of, you know, take the lead in the actual, like, narrative of the negotiation, but... Um... Well, I'm Sorry, throwing... I'm, uh... I'm, ro I'm throwing one yellow, two green. And I can mm -hmm. increase that to two yellow with our final light side point. Yeah, I got a yellow, two green, and one less setback. Yeah, and so the so the difficulty I'll just I'll just say here with that. Um man, this is kind of a big deal. If we had a box of doom, I'd probably roll it in it. Um I, I do believe that uh sorry should be taking point on this then, because sorry gets us one less setback dice. Yeah, yeah. so yeah, so sorry. Go ahead and uh, give me... It's going to be a streetwise roll. Mm -hmm. uh, I can't say that word. Streetwise. Streetwise. Um, it's going to be difficulty of three, normally with a setback. Um, you know what? Strike that. Because it's going to be difficulty of... It's going to be difficulty of two with setback. Um... It really, like, truly is, like, he's literally getting his... She's literally getting her spice back. Like, that's the issue. Okay. Yeah, so difficulty two with setback. That setback goes away. Uh, so go ahead and roll your... Um, are you going to be upgrading any die? Uh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, okay. Uh, yeah, I'll spend the light side. So right. I get two proficiency, one ability, two difficulty, no setback. That is right. I didn't see. Got a beautiful exchange. Uh. Ooh, wow. Man. 
Mayba. He's actually kind of making out like a bandit. <laughs> Mayba looks at you and says, hmm. The one with the tendrils has an interesting offer. Yes, I will take the glitter slit. The glitter, the the, the the fuck. Am I having a stroke? Uh, the she glitter marking the glitter stem. <laughs> <laughs> the shitter glim. Um, the shitter glim. Yep. Uh, the glitter stem. I will take that off your hands. And frankly, I don't. I expected y'all to kill him. He's rather a. Annoying, and he, frankly, he makes some women feel uncomfortable. Uh, he kind of looks like Cam. He has his Cam just kind of side eyes Kai back. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, Chad, and Chad goes, yeah. Grab that glitter stem, take it in back. Don't use all of it at once. You'll die. Chat goes. Uh, <laughs> all right. Nope. Oh, kind of heavy, but all right. I'm taking it. Good on you, Chad. Doing your job, carrying boxes. Come. Goes right. He's saying that to himself. Um. It was a pleasure doing business with you, Your Eminence. Absolutely. I don't know what the Your Eminence means, but I'm assuming it's complimentary. That's what um, huts like to be referred to as. She's not a great hut. <laughs> and actually, yeah, I mean, she is very intelligent. But um, well, I I recommend that you have a drink at the bar, relax, maybe do some of that other spice that I'm seeing. You still have the number of my guy. If you um, if you want. I mean, he does only visit back alleys and um, will come armed, but in a very weird way. Okay, I, I'm sorry, uh, Maybe You're going to have to be more specific than that. No, no, no. I want the surprise. <laughs> I knew I liked this, sister! And she does a little <laughs> dance. <laughs> Cam's over here like, is this someone else who's going to be having, like, artificial droid arms sticking out of them holding blasters? All right. All right After we'll a... Maybe Frankly, this dude very, comes up with, yeah. like, a fucking vial. All right, you try nothing funny. I'm gonna drop my weaponized anthrax. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't have the right dispersal method, but me dropping it in this alley will work. He said, if I go, everybody goes. And by everybody, I mean just people in the next, in the nearest 20 foot radius. I tell you what, this place, this thing would really could use a bomb. <laughs> maybe, about... maybe if I throw it at like an air conditioning unit. Yeah, just something that a fit like, man, I'm just coming up with so many ideas here. How can I disperse this anthrax? The FBI goes, um, sir? <laughs> You're on a watch list now. You're on a watch list. Uh, anyway, uh, th that happens. Um, we're just full of beans tonight. I love it. Uh, <laughs> me and Jack are just vibing with the improv. So do so wild. Oh, uh, all right. That's Jack. He is the king of improv. I would say I'm. I'm a duke. Okay. I'm 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 good. Oh, you're a dude yeah. already. You're uh, a uh, <laughs> uh all right. Uh we're gonna bring you all back to the ship for right now. This has been some some shopping episode. Um <laughs> Well, we made 17,500 credits. You, in fact, did make 17,500 credits. Um, we have half an hour left, and we haven't bought anything. Here we go. We are credits. Well, because we need to do the selling first. That's right. Um, okay. I think we're just going to go ahead and abstract this at this point. Um, but first, we'll head back to the Storm Runner.
So, Lina, your mm-hmm. arm is in side the storm runner just fully yeah We're... all right i've already installed the concussion launcher on the outside now i'm running the cables through this access panel replace the forward mounted one forward mounted medium laser with the concussion launcher all right go and get carga by the way before we head back to the ship for sure uh carga yeah we'll we'll That'll be later. <laughs> yeah. Uh, be grumbling to myself. Um, man, I really have to work on pacing. Uh, all right. <laughs> Look, pacing is well, fucking hard. It if is. You sit down; it's hard to pace. Yes. Jessa, remind me to smack you upside the head. You know, and every single pun that Jessa says, I miss. And I, um, and yeah, that's the end of the sentence. Um, (laughs) so with that, uh, is there a role for this for installation? I don't believe there is. Technically, it's going to fall into the same rules as modding, but you can have me do a mechanics check anyway. They're fun. Okay. Yeah, for sure. Can we not have the laser and the concussion facing forward? Yeah, that's, Uh, that's kind of my question. We're running out of hard points. Um, we, we're kind of heavy on weapons and no other things. Okay, and yeah, we could mount that concussion because we do have the two laser turrets. Yeah, we so have, yeah, we, we could sell the... that. Uh, yeah, we could sell that medium laser as surplus. Yeah. All right. Yeah, because uh... like we have five hard points and three are taken up by weapons. So if you want anything else, we got to stick with those three. For sure. Okay. Go ahead and give me a mechanics roll. Uh, this is just, I mean, you have unlimited time. Um, go ahead and give me a mechanics roll difficulty one. Um, just to tempt fate and see. I feel like I should have a boost to something because I'm awesome. Um... There's only room for one. I upgrade the just... I upgrade the ability on all mechanics chip made to work on my vehicle. <laughs> oh, so you get another yellow die? Yeah. So that <laughs> it doesn't come into another because all your dies are yellow, right? No, I had one green left. Oh, are you kidding? Is that actually your a thing? Yeah, that's yeah. a thing. I have signature vehicle. Cool. Yep. Go ahead and uh, roll all your yellows against my one purple. Take that. <laughs> Almost fails. Superior oh, quality. You can give it the superior quality with all those advantages. Oh my god, do it. No <laughs> way. Are no you way. kidding me? No. I could have just said no to the roll. You could have, yeah. <laughs> Bamboo's it literally roll. didn't need a roll. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. No, no, I'm not allowing this. <laughs> Absolutely not. No. I will never let you roll easy rolls again. Eat a dick. <laughs> even though you wanted to roll. Son of a bitch. I'm going to have a tantrum. You did that. Okay. Can I just say that that, that that right there has been the highlight of this really good session? Uh, going to pour more grape Kool-Aid out and chug it. <laughs> Um, it's non-shutter, so I'm not killing myself. Don't worry. <sighs> it is mixed with vodka, though. Twisted tea. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm having great Kool-Aid with twisted tea. Don't yell at me. Um, <laughs> no one said a word. That's your projection. Anyway, you're right. anyway. So, uh, <laughs> you all come back. You install it. I'm not. Yeah, that roll is not happening. You're not getting a superior quality concussion launcher on the front of your transport vessel. Um, what was that? Uh, you, Trev? Yeah. You... Oh, I thought I heard Trev, Trev. say something. No, uh, no, uh, not 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 yet. Uh, okay. I said, "Viva la revolution." 
Ah, uh, no. uh, yes. Um, at this point, I will I will allow um. Is the rope as as what's the, as you uh, finish installing the concussion launcher, um, everybody returns to the storm runner. And the last part of this session will be a shopping game. Are we ready for this? Yes. I'm ending the slightly porny music. And we're going to battle music. We need to sell the rest of our cargo. Yes, we do. We need to clear out our ready to sell all all your shit. Yes, we are. All right. All right, here we go. I'm, I gotta turn it off. It's too. It's too hyping. All right. It's exactly we'll just... the right amount of hype. A challenger approaches. Oh, fuck it. Yeah. All right. Uh, so, so we're gonna go ahead and sell this. So, um, you, we will run all of like the scenes and stuff that everybody wants to do next session. Uh, because we simply don't have the time to fuck around. However. I am going to ask for one main roller, one for your legal goods that you're selling, and one for the illegal goods that you're selling. I I do have them segregated into four different piles, because you wouldn't be able to sell factory components where you're selling your Vibrowax. Well, thank you so much. We will do that. Um, So I think... uh, Mm -hmm. Sorry should sell the illegal goods because that's streetwise. Mm-hmm. And Cam should sell the legal goods. I think. All right. Is that good? Oh, good. Wait. Um. Let me look at my streetwise though. I might. I might be pretty good at streetwise. So, hold on. Oh, please don't sing along to the music. It's, it's delayed. Listen, you guys don't even know. When this plays on for so long, in between my roles, I have my own dance routine to it. I, I, oh. I do it every single time. That's why yeah. we broke your legs. Yep. <laughs> um, I will... No, I'd let somebody else do it. Alright, give me one second. I'm I do look get to at... remove a setback if we ever have any, though. My streetwise check. Street smart. Streetwise back. So... All right. Let me look at recovery. Um, the recovery for factory tanks. Twenty-four hour period. Okay. If you are okay with spending four thousand credits, no, actually, well, it's going to be marked up. Give me one second. Actually, no. Why would it be marked up? Buying price. I don't know. You're the GM. You tell us. Uh, okay. Um. Okay. So this is minus one. Is there a buy markup? I don't think there would be for that. Uh, if you are okay spending 4,000 credits on a for a back to tank um that is something that can be brought on the ship and then essentially i would need a resilience roll from tam um because i believe you heal wounds at a back to tank as well yeah it reduces the amount of time spent so basically i can do two injuries a week if we have a back to test i yep. will spend the four thousand credits well good um is that is like a back to tank? Like an is that something that we have? To, I need to turn off the music. I'm so sorry. I was thinking more like a back to bed, like a uh, Boba Fett has. Okay, something small, yeah. something I could tuck in a corner. For sure, yeah, we can go, go ahead and do that for the four thousand credits. The back to tank oh. is the most base efficient. If we're just being honest here, yeah, um, the tank stands up. It could be a it could be a uh, a coffin sized tank that stands up in the corner. Yeah, 100%. Um, for that there, uh, Tam, you are put into a back-to-tank after a, after a day of agony. Um, I am going to go ahead. 
Mm -hmm. And since we have an unlimited amount of time, frankly, well, not really an unlimited amount of time, but a decent amount of time, um, I'm going to ask for one medicine check from from Lina. Okay. Uh, go ahead and give me a medicine check. It's going to be... Yeah, so it's going to be a difficulty of three to heal all of his wounds. Um... And then the back to tank is really good for uh, the critical injuries. Um, so go ahead and give me a medicine check difficulty three uh, for the wound, uh, the we, wounds to get. Um, we have no light sides. So last chance, Dan. Eat a dick. You're on your own. All right. However, after two hours, you get two wounds back, and you are now fully conscious and able to move in the back of the tank. Um, so this is uh, okay. Great, that's that. Now we're gonna go ahead and do our selling first. And like Kyle mentioned, um, I do have the things spl split up into a bunch of different. Um, a bunch of different stores. So I'm going to require one, two, three, four, five. Sorry, let me count again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven checks. That, no, this is for buying, isn't it? Yeah, selling should just be four. Okay, selling is just four. Uh, sorry, everybody. We had all this organized and beautiful. All right. Um, so, for this, it's going to be a negotiation role. Um, the negotiation role normally is... Give me just one moment, everybody. I'm so sorry. It's getting late. All right. So, it depends on the rarity of the item. That's for buying. Fuck. Yeah, for selling, right. just do the roll, and I've got yeah. the calculator set up, so based on their success, one, two, or three. Okay. Um, okay, so, and then I just determined the difficulty of the, or, yeah, so I, I so. determined the difficulty of it, because there's, yeah. there's a base difficulty. So is this the first sort of... Um, uh, the fuel, the this? labor machinery, and the factory components. Nice, okay. cheap, easy. Nice, cheap, easy. Uh, so, who is going to be rolling negotiation for this? Uh, I believe Cam. Yes. Alrighty. So, uh, I'm going to require a negotiation check. Difficulty of one. Now, what we want to do with all of these rolls, and I am go just... Uh, I'm going to go ahead and... Um, what we want to do with these rolls is you want to roll as many successes as possible, obviously over the um over the uh difficulty range. So um essentially the minimum that you can get on this is six hundred credits uh for all the stuff. That's at the twenty five percent of this of the buy price. Um the maximum that you get is can is the seventy five percent of the buy of the buy price, which is eighteen hundred credits in this. So yeah, everybody make make sure that you have the um store runner archives open and then uh look at the stores tab. And then you can see on the top right that we are we're copying and pasting all of the stuff with for each of these roles in that top right hand corner, uh with that it shows like the buying markup and the selling negotiations. Um Chi Chi is wrong compared to the book, which is where I built my my calculator from. I oh, ignore that. I, just, I was reading the cheat sheet, and they were only giving successes as an extra five percent each, but the book states twenty five percent per. Yeah, it's it's twenty five percent each. Yeah. Um. Okay. So, um, Cam, go ahead and give me a negotiation roll. Difficulty of one. Uh, All right. Yeah. Negotiation roll, difficulty one, and away we go. Fantastic. So, that is, wow, that is truly an amazing roll. So, somebody should be keeping track of how many, uh, how many, right, cool. So, 
for the fuel, the labor machinery, and the factory components, you go into sort of the um the honestly, you go to like the space dock store, the space dock store, the uh the dock store, um sort of in the wholesale department. You go in and you see see the vendor. The vendor is a really shifty guy. You talk your talk. He gives you a very good deal on this stuff. 1,800 credits uh, added to your rolls. Outstanding. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the next one. So, for this I'm one... Check, uh, none of those it, are restricted items. That is right, yep. So, the uh, everybody make sure that we're selling the right stuff. So, this is the slug thrower, the standard blaster pistol, the, the heavy blaster pistol, holdout blaster, and the, all the vibro... Um, the vibro weapons. Um, now, before we sell any of these, does anybody want to keep any of these weapons? We have several of a lot of them. Uh, if no one has any objection, I would like to take a vibro knife. Okay. We can do yeah, that. That's fine. Perfect. So then we can set the quantity to one. Okay, going once, going twice, sold. All right. So you head to your trusty neighborhood gun, gun and weapon store, Cameron. Which is outstanding because there's stuff I want to buy there. Absolutely. Um, you you uh, go ahead and so you put down your big case full of weapons. Go ahead and give me. A negotiation uh, range. This is going to be difficulty two. These weapons are used. Um, and it seems to be a buyer's market right now. There are a lot of weapons for sale. Okay. Bam! Yikers. Oof. Okay. Something that I hadn't account accounted for. Failure. <laughs> Give me one second. Um... I will go ahead and I'm going to ask. So you, the guy is just fully not interested. He's looking at you and he says, listen, you really think I'm going to be buying some half used gross pistols? These Viber weapons are nice, but, you know, everybody that wants one already has one. Um... You can try again. Um, I am going to reduce the max to 50%. So you no longer are able to get that 75%. Uh, Go ahead and roll again. So it's difficulty two. Um, okay. Yep. Uh, give me a moment. I am. Can I offer I my. Um, this is a negotiation check. This is. Uh, so this is a weapon store. I'd probably be there. Can I offer my uh, trained assistance? I mean, um, having yeah. a Mandalorian be like, look, these weapons are quality shit. Exactly. I, I will allow that on that second roll for sure. All right, outstanding. Enough of that for a different thing. Mm -hmm. I'm, uh, I'm adding the buy-up markup. You can now reduce the the selling negotiations by using... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't worry about me. I'll let you know in a second when I'm done. All right. All right. You get, for all of those weapons, 3,250 credits. Okay. Fantastic. And I use that piece. advantage yes. to get 10% uh, off a custom grip. I will... I will allow that, yeah. All right. And while I'm here, can I go ahead and buy the paired mod? Uh, yes, yes, you can. Control, you're there. Okay. Okay, and we're gonna have, we're gonna need to, you know, buy whatever stuff uh, Lina needs. I, I assume Lina sent a stipend for it. Sure. Yep. So <laughs> just the um. So yeah. So that that's she's just looking for the custom grip. So two custom grips. 
I took the 450 out of my credits. I took 300 out of mine. All right. 500 of mine. Already. Okay, the back to tank. Um, we got the custom grip for. Are you just marking these green once we've got them? Yeah. Okay. Uh, also, the buying markup now will work on the selling negotiation. So let's say they fail, you can say reduce it by twenty five percent. So. Five. Okay. I think I can I, now, I can now um, lower the prices even more. <laughs> Cool. Yeah, I can be. I guess I can be more selective instead of reducing it down by twenty five percent increments. Um, okay. Uh, is there anything else that you would like to buy at the weapon store? Uh, can I get a um, one more thing? Can I get a forearm grip? Forearm grip. Two hundred and fifty. Two hundred fifty. Yep. Absolutely. Which is funny, because in real life, if you're spending more than 50 bucks for a foregrip, man, you're getting fucking ripped off. Inflation is wild in Star Wars. <laughs> <laughs> All right. For All right, that. Sorry. I believe in you. <laughs> You've got the big ticket okay. items. <laughs> big ticket items. Big ticket items. All right. These are highly illegal. Just so illegal. Um, they are, they are sh actively shot stormtrooper armor and a crate, a little rural crate of blaster rifles. If it makes it any better, we are on a hut world. Yeah. Um, with that, you, uh, sorry, you follow the name that was given by Maba. Um, are you also selling the spice? Yeah. Okay, we should probably add the spice in there then. Oh, we're selling all at once? Okay. Yeah, I kind of figured since it's one black market contact. Um, you, uh, I will add some color to this if I can. Um, oh, you, <laughs> <laughs> the, thank you, the, you have to go down into, sorry, you guys, I'm assuming that you guys are coming with sorry as yeah. as you go down the those of you who are mobile um you end up opening a door uh to a different warehouse um and essentially in this warehouse you see just a large sort of spiral of stairs going down and down and down you see um an, a sign as you are going down entering day mags basin um whoever would like to please give me a uh outer rim knowledge check I'll i believe you. i can I do that, that. Yeah, can difficult we all make it, or does it have to be one person? It can be everybody. Um, go ahead and give me a difficulty, difficulty two. Oh, wow. Oh, hey. sorry, Nose. Look at all them failures. Uh, I have the perfect balance, as all things should be. Yes. Uh, sorry. You know the name of Daymag the Hut. Daymag oh, the Hut okay. is is the Hut Overlord that was here before Maba. Sort of the the um the ruler of this sort of area of this city. Daymag was a bastard. Um as huts go, he's about as bad as you can get. Um, he ran child labor slave rings. Um, he actively took part in 
the separation of families. Uh, he would kidnap kids. Um, some of them just never to be seen. Every sort of illicit business Daymag was involved in. Um, this basin, you know of it, is where the enemies of Daymag were sentenced. Um, those that he felt too important to kill were sent down here. These were unaffiliated spice dealers, weapons mongers, um, slavers who are working in the area. This is an area where you do not go with unarmed. Um, there are also a lot of people who are political prisoners who made their lives down here. Um, it's dark. It smells even worse down here as you continue moving forward. It's hot. It's muggy. Um, think about, like, the Terrace Undercity. That's where you're going. Um, Joy. The area that you walk into, it's... You feel that you're still in, like, a building, but you also feel underground. Um, you meet where the, where the, uh, the black market contact said to meet. Um, there are several Gamorians hanging out. They all give you, with a Mandalorian, a very wide berth. And you see... You see the name of your... You see your contact standing there. This is a um, a Deveronian. Uh, his name is Draxon. Um, Draxon stands there. He is flanked by two Gamorrean enforcers, each of them with a vibroaxe and several weapons directly visible on them. He goes, what's your pleasure, lass? To you, sorry, mm -hmm. as you walk in. Well, we got some stuff to sell, maybe trade. A few things we're looking to acquire. Well, uh, I'm it all a, comes down I'm... to what you got in your inventory and what you want for the things we have. Thank you for that rather elementary description of how trade works. Um, he, he turns around. He says, stand guard outside. Make sure that there are no people coming in. Um, so we should sell first. I see that. Ooh, we've been bad. Some spice. He sort of smells the case that the Booster Blue is inside. Ooh. I have a weakness for the for this particular blend. It's cheap. I bet. But... Opens the lid on the crate full of E11s. Oh, we've been very bad. I mean, yeah, because fuck the Empire, am I right? You are, in fact, right. God, we're going to get along so great. <laughs> um that you hear a you hear a loud scream from outside and you all sort of stop look outside the door and you see that um uh it's there's just a woman rocking back and forth on the ground screaming in intermittently seems to be not sound of mind um, she gets up and walks away. Uh, creepy place. He <laughs> go. He goes. Uh, so make your offer. Now is when I'm going to ask Sari for that streetwise check. What's difficulty? 
Difficulty for this, uh, these are all illicit items, but you're talking to a very illicit guy. Uh, go ahead and give me, let's say difficulty two. Okay. Oh, the Yikers. Can we provide a boost die to her for, uh, I didn't, did she already roll? She did. Yeah. yeah. Um, Okay. The four advantages will Throw come in into the play. Booster blue. <clears throat> yep, yeah. the boost. Yeah, booster blue. Wait, what? No, oh, sorry. Sweeten the pot. Yeah. Give them the booster blue. It's what they like. Yeah. That's, that's yeah. What I was thinking. Yeah. So, um, I will let that advantage come into play. And I will let her let you re-roll with the same uh same things of if you get three successes, uh you still get a seventy five percent sell rate. Okay. Go ahead offer and untrained assistance to give her a boost die. Yeah. How do you provide assistance? Uh I was the one who opened up the crates and showed like the product in a look at what we've got kind of manner. It's showmanship. That's how I assist. Showmanship. Uh, yep, go ahead and add a boost die. Yeah. Is there a limit to how many people can help? <laughs> I believe it's I believe it's one is the limit. Mm. Well let me well let me double check because God forbid. Um give me one second. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Let me know if anybody finds it before Usu they it says usually you. limited to one assistant in the cheat sheet. Okay. Uh, it means that it's up to you. How would Cam assist? By being charming. So it's <laughs> going to be one assistance. Um, and then... Yeah, so go ahead and add a boost die, sorry. Um, okay. Still difficulty two. It's a boost. Oh, Are for you fuck's sake. Idiot. Okay. Our um, boost dice really are just taking up space this session. Yeah. Uh, the advantage will come into play. Uh, you get a... So it's going to... Instead of being a 75% reduction... Oh, no, no. Instead of being a 25% reduction, it's going to be a 20%. So this is point eight. Yeah. So it's going to reduce everything okay. by 20%. Yep. Okay. Go ahead and give me another roll, still with a boost die. Easy, oh, flip. There we there go. We go. The the boost die, die continues to, to do nothing. Yeah. The, the extra success could be used to up the price a little bit. Yep. So that's what it's going to be. So um, it's going to be uh, that those two successes over those two net successes are going to be. 50 at a well now it's going to be at a um i suppose a 30 percent yeah that makes sense um all right so you get for all of those rifles uh the stormtrooper armor and the rest of the spice sixteen thousand nine hundred and sixty credits so uh, yeah so, there's a few things we're looking for that you might be the perfect... Give me give me one moment here. I'm going to undo what you just did, Kyle. Sorry. Uh, could you here, undo what me, you just, just did? Yet. Sorry. <laughs> Thank you. Sorry. I will give you a chance. Would you like to roll to push your luck? If you succeed on a difficulty two roll with a setback this next time, you get to have the higher number, which is which gets you another almost ten thousand credits. If you fail that, you get the lower number, which is only eighty four hundred credits. Would you like to press your luck? I mean, I re I remove a setback die. You do. Do I still absolutely? Get you still get the boost die, so you're gonna roll exactly what you did again. If you if you succeed, you get that twenty five thousand forty four hundred and forty number. If you fail this next one, 
8,480 credits. It's up to do you. Do we have any light side points? No. Nope. You do not. What do y'all think? No, 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 no. This one's you. Fuck it. I think you should press your luck. Thing. Fucking send. Uh, I'll start typing the 8,000 now. <laughs> nope. And you, you succeed. That, but. Stop you... It do nothing! Uh. <laughs> Last, I admire your tenacity. Add 25,440 credits. Nice. Which puts us at a group pool of 30,000. No. I've got 46. 46,150 me- credits. Yeah. So there's a section in the book where it says to always have you guys chasing your money. Um, we chased it. You chased it. You found we did. It. Uh, but uh, to be truly, fair, if the... we, on our wish list, we could empty that right now. Yeah. Like, ju- just the parts for J9 are 8K. Yes, and yes, and yes. All righty. It'd be cheaper just so. to duct tape to the top of W. <laughs> All right. I will say that this... Um, that with the um, with this res- with this guy, he has access to anything with an R next mm-hmm. to it. So that's your. Yeah, uh, he has access to like the data spikes, the taggers, the. That's like, exactly what I was going to ask. All right, if he has the armored robes for me, and then the data spike, the tagger, and the lock breaker for Pam. The armored robes, I will say, they are rarity eight. Um, I am going to so rarity seven for this. They're also very, they're very specialized for Jedi. So I am actually going to do a roll. Hmm. Ethan has them. Yeah. Uh, for that, for the like, for the data spikes and for the, I'm not gonna. Even yeah. though the electronic lock breaker is, is is rarity five for the for the armored robe, I'm gonna roll a percentile dice. Uh, do you want? So there is a mechanic yeah. for this. Oh well, I like mine better. <laughs> yeah, well, what was what's the mechanic? Sorry. Uh, it depends on the difficulty of the item. There is an investigation or negotiation check. I can't remember which one. Um, with a difficulty correlating to the rarity of the item, I think uh, mm-hmm. I think Mutant has the table. For, yeah, so for something for something like this is a this is not a normal item. This is yeah. this is this armor is armor under robes, not necessarily to look like a Jedi, just to protect her more. Yeah, yeah. So. But it's spe- like it's specially like made, yeah, for for quick, fast movements of a melee fighter. So. Yeah, okay. You know what? I will. I will say that. Yeah, I will. I will allow. We'll go off of just the rarity table then. Um, this is going to be a hard. Uh, so difficulty three because of the reduced rarity. Um. um. And I think, Cam, don't you have something for that? I do. Um, I have black market. Well, you know what? I do have black market contacts to make it easier. So uh, I have two ranks of black market contacts, and I can lower the rarity by one per rank. So I can lower the rarity by two. But for each level of the item's rarity is decreased, its cost increased by 50% of its base cost. So that's more. Whoa. We'll be able to get it. Did you say 50 Five zero. So Jeez. this is. I, I here's the thing. I didn't want to say anything. I I think that our GM is in very um, kind and generous. Mm-hmm. I think most people would probably make these things very very difficult to obtain. And so, sure, you can get it easier, but you're just gonna have to pay for it. Is kind of the yeah. Thing. Yeah, oh. absolutely, absolutely, and for and like for the um um and yeah, so the so buying stuff from the black market, there's going to be a markup essentially, and is is how yeah, 
so thank you for for bringing that up. Uh, for the armored robe, yeah, you're absolutely able to. So it would be it would reduce a difficulty three check to a difficulty two check, but it would. I mean, it would double the cost from forty five hundred to nine thousand. Um, if my math works right, yeah, it would it, it would lower it from three to one, but it would all increase it. To, oh, uh, so does it say yeah. the difficulty of the check or the rarity? Uh, the rarity, I'm oh, sorry, the rarity yeah. would go down by two. So I don't know so if that lowers one. It two. does not. So the oh, rarity scale, it. here, I'll post that. Sorry. No, you're okay. Uh, the rarity scale, I'll put that right here, just so that everybody has access to it. It is in the notes, but... Um, so that's what we're talking about here. Uh, that is sort of what I'm basing the difficulty on. So... To find it here, I'm going to go ahead and say, yeah, difficulty three, unless we're using that, the the one the one off, um, to reduce it to two, um, because Sorry is specifically looking for this item. I would require a streetwise check from Sorry to see if this, just basically to see if this person has access to this thing. Um, uh. yeah. So it would be streetwise difficulty three um would be the role for that. I mean, I can try it. I Yeah, absolutely. Um Yeah. Nope. Oof. A very even, literally an even roll. No dice, unfortunately. So this specific traitor, um, yeah. he looks at you and he says, yeah, that's not really something I carry, unfortunately. But I do have a bunch of electronic supplies. He pulls out a big box um, for that. Um, it's like the IT guy opens the, the drawer yeah. just random miscellaneous A 100%. Computer yeah. Uh, you see that this guy, this guy kind of specializes in slicer equipment. Um, so this guy would be sort of the guy you get that stuff from. Uh, you see he's wearing a funny, like, eye visor thing. Very, like, Olympics shooter. So, uh, so slice and spice is, is what this guy's for. Slice and spice. <laughs> L- literally what I have in my notes. I got a, I got a question for you. Yeah. Did you know who could uh, install a couple hidey holes on my ship? Now, I don't mean just sort of move things around till you make some space. I'm talking about the ones that are difficult to scan, even if you know they're there. Hmm. You know, for okay. privacy concerns. Yeah, so uh, Cam, uh, for that I will require a, a rarity roll here. Uh, it is It is just rarity three. So the roll for that would be street wide. And it's reduced by one for being on so hey run. Yeah, so rarity from four to three. That cr- makes the difficulty of the check um uh, just a difficulty one roll. Uh just to see he all right. I didn't hear it. Oh man, so I'm assuming it, yep. Yep. That that went that goes through he goes, Yeah, I got a guy. He works at the spaceport. Not really happy in his current position, but I can get him there. I'd appreciate it. Absolutely. So, with this, uh, yeah, uh, Ke- yeah uh, Kevin, do you need help with uh, with anything? Hmm? Yeah, we're no, just going to no. buy the the things that Tam wants then. And um. I do have a couple of things that I'm looking for, but that is more um, like just legitimate shopkeepers that, that I'm looking yeah, that's, for. Yeah, that's all the restricted items on our shopping list. Okay, cool. Uh, I am going to impose since these are restricted and since, but this guy is maybe specific and he's been told about you. Uh, I am just having a 10% markup. So with this, uh, the buy price, 4700 and. 58 credits. Okay. I mean, we'll buy it. Alrighty. 
Um, go ahead and add those to your list. Got it. Fantastic. Oh. All right. Mm. So I work at 7 a.m. tomorrow. Um, so I'm done. If y'all are done, we will finish <laughs> the buying. Uh, We're never next, done. next next <laughs> time. Um, I want to thank every single one of you for being so awesome and having a great episode. And it feels it felt so not stressed at all, even though it was a little bit stressful. Uh, and I learned today that hey, you guys don't need combat. You guys are good with talking and stuff. Not like I didn't know that before. But... Um, uh, to those of you who are watching, thank you so much. If you would please, uh, wherever you're watching this, either or listening to this on your Spotify or your whatever or your YouTube music, if you're watching this from Reddit, please give it a uh, please give it a rate and then share it. Uh, if you're watching it on YouTube, thank you. Anybody who's watching and listening to this, uh, go ahead and like, subscribe, do all the things. Send us a comment. I'll respond to it. Uh, from... yeah, so I might. Fun. Yep. If and you're on Reddit, we... I might reply. Absolutely. Anyway. Well, we, we love you if over you're here. On Tumblr, and... I might reply. I don't even know if we post this on Tumblr. We do not. We do not, and I don't think anybody... Well, people use Tumblr, uh, but... All right. Uh... Ancient, and if it wasn't for some random comment, we wouldn't even have Spotify or YouTube music. Literally. And with that, I hope you all have a good rest of your day week and we will see you next time bye bye How much XP do we get? You get 10 XP. Hooray. Woo! Woo! I am constantly forgetting where the fuck that is. Still the last, last tab. Eight. Always the last tab. Okay. I'm increasing myself by one. Ooh, Great. 25 XP. Um, give me a moment. You're gonna have to work to kill me, motherfucker. Uh, improve stim application or hmm. I don't think I need resourceful refit yet and I haven't used the first oh <sighs> hell, hell <yes>. yeah <laughs> <laughs> you should go directly down for um the one that ups your uh, stat as fast that, as you can. That is what I just purchased. Dedication? Yeah. Nice. Huh. Must be nice to not have to fix everyone's problems. Alrighty, folks. I hope everybody <laughs> had a fun time. I will um I will see you all next weekend. I do work all mornings this week, so if anybody wants to like play anything, um my line is always open. Did um, so Friday.